Hello? Hello? Hello! <laughs> We had we had Tusta here from the start. She graced you with her presence right from the beginning. How are we all doing today? Welcome back. Welcome back. It has been it has been a while. It has been a while. Thank you so much for the resubs, guys. Marty and Sindra, thank you so much. Marty, thank you so much for the six months. I can't believe it's been that long already. <laughs> and since the 27 months. That is such a long time. Thank you guys so much for, for being here for so long. Hey. And also... Let me catch up. Let me catch up. Craig is today's first. Congrats, Craig. And Black Hats is today's second. And Palm is today's third. Your Twitch fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to do that too. I always have to reload uh, if I'm trying to camp in someone's stream to get first. I mean, it hasn't happened in a while, but when I did, I had to reload uh, before doing it because... Yeah, it was it was the safest. And also, thank you so much for the, the, the lurk, uh, Sarah. And... Um, and Palm. Um, well... No, Palm redeemed third. I was like, but did did I say hi to you? <laughs> uh, hold on, let me catch up. Let me catch up. I, I had a lot to scroll. Um, but yeah, I hope you you've had a good week so far, guys. Hope you've had a good week. A bit mid, long as day, but at least you got cursed pizza to soothe your nerves. Wait, what is a cursed pizza? I'm sorry that you've had a a, a rough day, though, Palm. Is there some pineapple? Pineapple isn't cursed. <laughs> uh, but it kind of feels like an eternity ago. You joined while I was still baldering for the first time. It's true. It's true. You were. To be fair, I started my first my first Baldur's Gate stream. I said stream because it's like I said three and stream in one. <laughs> my first Baldur's Gate three stream was uh, on. Um, New Year's Eve. It was on New Year's Eve, so I ended last year with the game and started this year with it. Um, which was pretty perfect. It was pretty perfect the uh, to, way to do it. So, most of this year has been dedicated to Baldur's Gate 3 on stream. Um... Did it work? It let you redeem, but gave an error that it was already redeemed, so you thought you missed it? No, you got you got second, so you did uh, you did go through. It did. Yes, it is. Lies. Like, sure, it's not my favorite, but um, it's it's not cursed. It's not bad. But also, thank you guys so much for for starting a high train and everything. Um, uh, I appreciate it. Chicken, mushroom, banana, pineapple, curry powder, and garlic sauce on the side. Oh yeah, it's the it's the the Swedish cursed uh, type of cursed. I see. <laughs> I just didn't think you thought of it thought of it as cursed. So I was like, I didn't. If I had known that you you would go by the the, the general uh, impression of what a cursed pizza would be, I would also have guessed the Swedish one. <laughs> No one likes Swedish pizza but you, and you don't have the energy to defend them today. No, no, no. I, also, I am I have told you guys before that I have not tried it, so I can't say. It just, it just sounds like a weird combination to me. But I wouldn't say any... Like, I wouldn't yuck anyone's yum, at least on, until I've tried it myself. <laughs> Degenerate pizza. <laughs> Uh, but it is Wednesday today, guys. How do we feel? Is it is it is it worse than Tuesday? I mean, Tuesday was pretty pretty bad. Um, pineapple is still the biggest red flag on that pizza. Now you just 
That that's a very unoriginal thought. <laughs> Even bigger than than banana. Because now you're just lying. <laughs> she she's so cuddly. But yeah, guys, today we're gonna be playing a game called Mika and the Witch's Mountain, which is a game that I uh, like. I played the demo for this. I think it was like April or something last year. It's been so long since I played the demo, and it was supposed to come out in. I think it was supposed to come out in October last year, but then they had to postpone it. So when I saw that I could uh, get a free copy to, to stream it, I, I jumped right on it because I really wanted to. I really wanted to play it. And I've been looking forward to it. It's, it's a very cozy, chill uh, game where you... It, it's kind of like Kiki's Delivery Service in a way, you know? If you've watched that movie where you, you fly around on a broom delivering packages to people and stuff. Pretty, pretty cute. Pretty cute. Um, you're still a mod and you're cranky. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful what you say now, uh, Cindy. Um... Pup time! I still haven't gotten any of my emotes from pop time that I've seen. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe one day we'll be recognized as uh I don't know if I don't think they recognize foxes, but I've seen some emotes that have been foxes that have been showing up as either a cat or a dog. So it could happen. It could happen one day. <laughs> a little kitty tail. Yeah. A personal fan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is, the thing about pizza is that people can say a lot of things about it, but you can never go wrong with pizza, no matter what is on it. Maybe that's a hot take? I don't know. But I feel like... There has not been a single type of pizza that I felt like spitting out, you know? Ever. Olives kills a good pizza. Yeah, but I, I will just take them off. I also I also don't like olives. <laughs> I also don't like olives. I, I have a thing against olives, for sure. Um, <laughs> it doesn't taste good. Um, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't cause me to, to... Yeah, it's not, it's not good. But I would, um... I could handle it if I had to. But I don't have to, so I'm not gonna use it. Um... <laughs> Favorite mod. <laughs> Do you agree or disagree with that, uh, Sindhuga? What is your stance on olives? Because I know that Panda, he loves olives, so he's going to defend that shit. Um, I also know that Clever is a huge fan of olives. Yeah, we have had the olive debate before. <laughs> I don't know if we had it here in this chat. No, we have because of Panda. I Because otherwise I wouldn't have known about Panda's stance on it. <laughs> it went wild. Mm. At least you can remove the olives if they're not super chopped up. Yeah. And I feel like they never they never are. So yeah, if if I happen to have a pizza with olives on, I just I just take them off. You don't like them, but your family does. Hmm. You'll be a fence sitter? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Just get all the olives and pineapple in a blender for a minute, then mix in with the tomato sauce. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, um, I don't know about that one. 
But I'm, I don't know. Could it also, like, sometimes it has something to do with texture as well. I mean, I know with, with olives it might not be. I don't know. But I don't know. It doesn't really matter, to be to be fair. Um, You have a redeem question. What is the reaction? Uh, that should be deactivated right now. So uh, it's supposed to be. Yeah, it doesn't really matter <laughs> because it should be deactivated. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's just that we were supposed to have like reaction videos in in posted in Discord and stuff. Something I'll never do. It's it's true because. The thing is, I, tr I, I add things with good intentions, but then I realize that for me, it's just too much. It is too much to have a bunch of uh, like huge redeems like that. I can't do it. You give all of us a thumbs up and a thumbs down, now you can f offend everyone equally. <laughs> Uh, good. Well, I mean, I could have just refunded though, but it should be deactivated. So even if you click on it, it shouldn't work. Unless uh, I've forgotten to deactivate it. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> I haven't even tried it yet and you're already speechless at how delicious that is. I mean, you never know. You never know. Could work though, you don't exactly, exactly. It's like olive oil is is amazing. I don't think anyone can hate olive oil. And it's also like the color and the smell of it is is like if you have soaps that smell of olives, it smells really good. But it's just regular olives just don't taste good. <laughs> and just think of the olives as chunky olive oil. I wish. I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, but also guys, what have you been up to since last time? I haven't streamed since Friday. Which is wild. It's been almost a whole week. Um... So what have you been doing since since then? I've been watching some some animus and I've been playing I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter World with with Lauren and Chris, which has been a lot of fun. I've been meaning to get back to the game in a long time and we have talked about it as well. And we finally did it, and we bu we all bought uh, Iceborne as well, uh, which none of us has tried, so that's gonna be fun as well. It's nice to have um, a game to play with other people that is off stream as well. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, I've also been watching an anime that came out earlier this year that I meant to watch while it was still airing, but I just had a bunch of other things to watch. Uh, it's called Windbreaker. It's, uh, it's really good. I finished it today. It's, it's really good. I enjoyed it. I do. I do enjoy a good uh, a delinquent anime. <laughs> I don't know how else to call it. I mean, I do think they call it that as well. But it's like, it's it's just such a weird thing to like that. It's a, it's its own category in a way. But yeah, I highly recommend it if you like, uh, for example, Tokyo Avengers. But it's it's slightly more wholesome though, I would say, than Tokyo Revengers. And I don't know if, if you guys have um, have noticed, but it's um I actually learned something about myself while watching anime today that I I get all I get all like Giddy and, and happy whenever I see like a a, a sundere, it just completely um, blush like all the time. It's it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> it's 
that was all. I, I realized that that is something that, that is really cute. That I haven't really paid attention to before, but now that I notice, it's like, you know, that is pretty cute. That is pretty cute. Um, school stress anxiety. Oh, I'm sorry, Palm. Has it not gotten any better? You think your mom doesn't like olive oil? She's a po um, Polish woman raised on potatoes and cream. Hmm. Is that a common thing for Polish people? To not like olive oil? <laughs> Give her pickle juice instead and she'll be happy. Yeah, I used to have a, a Russian friend. She loved pickles and pickle juice, um, which was um, interesting. She decided to mix pickle juice with alcohol once. Uh, that did not end well, and that was on New Year's Eve once. <laughs> uh, Palm, please don't. Why does everyone have to, to make things into something weird? You know that Windbreaker is a type of jacket, right? I'm pretty sure it was a thing before that. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know. But you were told to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood by classmates. Oh, you haven't watched it before? It's, um... It is good. But I do think it's very overrated, though. But then again, um... I, I think I judge uh, animes a little bit differently than other people do. Um... But if a, an anime makes me want to just take a break in between because it's kind of slow and then it's like I wouldn't I wouldn't praise it too much. Well, I mean, I could praise it, but it's like the overall um rating wouldn't be as high. <laughs> Your grandpa does his own pickles, pickle Blood runs in the family. <laughs> it's got this cute dog or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's it it got it 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 got it it, it has a cute dog. It is, it's true. <laughs> uh, am I Sandra? No, I'm I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I used to be, actually. I used to be one, I would say. Until I went to therapy. <laughs> it's going well, it's just much. Mm. Well, that's good, though. That it, it's, it's something that you can probably adjust to eventually. And as long as it's, it's going, like, it's something you enjoy doing, sometimes it is worth pushing through it. But it can be tough, I understand that. You've been so tired lately that you feel like you're stuck in some type of limbo, almost haven't played any games, watched anime, or watched any new series. And just existing on your free time, it feels like. Yeah, some some peers are like that for sure. I Yeah, I, I had something similar like that uh a couple of months ago, I think. Hopefully it won't take too long though until you're out of it. But me need to catch up on the anime. Uh, mm. Do what do you plan on watching though when you when you have the time or the energy to? You saw the Twilight parody after all. Wait, what? I know, Palm, but it's like it's it's an expression. It's not an actual thing. But yeah, anyway, it's a good show. Like, it's like, you, you guys make me not want to say things out loud. Because someone's gonna make either a gross joke about it, or... Or just, you know, or... Because why do you guys want to talk about... Gross stuff all the time? <laughs> Need to see if anything from the season or last season of anime catches your attention? Hmm. Yeah. I still have a lot of animes that I haven't watched yet 
that I need to catch up on that are new, which is what I'm doing now with with that show. See, I'm not going to I'm not even going to say the name anymore. It's just it is gross. And also it's not just air. Queefs that is that is just air, actually. Um so you're right about that, but it's those are not the same things. You didn't have to, I'm just I'm just talking about well But it's still not just air palm. Hold on. Anyway, that was not the point. We're not going to discuss this because I that was literally my point that I didn't want it to be a thing. And that's what it always comes down to, that it's always and end, ends up being a thing, because you don't listen to me. I don't want to talk about it. Stop talking about these things. <laughs> what? Yeah, that is also gross, but that is at least... <laughs> I don't know what you said you up to, honestly. <laughs> What's the hoodie from? It's from it's from named collective. Even if plastic bags are like a hot commodity. Wait, what? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I am so confused right now. Um, but yeah, let us let us uh, maybe get into the game. They're extra expensive now. Oh yeah, that, that it is probably true. I haven't really. I haven't really bought any new plastic bags. I I buy these like specific bags that are meant to be for for uh, garbage and stuff. And then I have uh, dis um, reusable ones that I take with me to the grocery store. This monitor. I need to move it to this monitor. Mm -mm -mm. We have been looking forward to playing this, blah, 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 playing this game. I have been looking forward to it. It seems cute. Um. Well, I mean, what we've seen of it before. I don't know who was here when I did that, but it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let me open the game. And pause the music. Wait, shouldn't it be full screen? It's showing the the, s the toolbar for me. That's kind of weird. It shouldn't. Oh, there we go. There we go. You just. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just getting. A little bit tired of, of because I know it's a me thing. I know that everyone else don't have an issue with it, but I do. 
as I know that it sounds unreasonable whenever I say please not talk about it because I'm like I'm actually not joking because I find it so gross to talk about. Um Because I don't need to I don't need to hear about these things. <laughs> we didn't answer you to Palm's message, but you read it wrong. The smell of reports is the sulfur case. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Anyway. We have a cutscene. Yeah. Yeah. I hope the sound is okay. You like the music? Me too. Me too. You used to work in a kindergarten. You discuss those themes at lunch and stuff. You just... Well, no. I mean, that's totally fine. I, I, As I said, it's just a me thing that I'm just... I used to have a dad who was very... Had, like, that type of humor. And I just never really found it funny. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not nervous at all. Uh... Mom once told me about her school days here in the Stellar Lighthouse. It's nicer than she said, but oh. I'm so far away from home. Mom, I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Alright, Mika, be cool. Be cool. You got this. You just have to give this letter to Miss Olagari to get into her, um... What did Mom call it? Magic school? Hmm. Now, time to learn cool stuff. Let's go find uh, Miss Olgari, the mistress witch. Hmm. Wait, jump with Y? That's weird. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'll be right back. I think it's my mom. Um, she has something. Okay, I just need to be on the BRB screen for a little bit. Uh, there we go.
I am sorry, I did not know that that would happen. <laughs> well, actually I did, but I forgot. Uh, but he, 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 he we're back, we're back. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so for those of you um, who might have gotten in through, well, during the ad, no, the ad, the BRB screen. Um, I was gonna, like, my mom was gonna stop by before going to work. But then she, she had more stuff than she was gonna bring me, uh, so it took a little while longer than I thought. <laughs> so, mom co-stream, uh, she has appeared on stream before. She has appeared on stream before. What is this? Well, I know it's a telescope, but... Yeah, she only brought me some... some uh, uh, pain relief uh, meds that are supposedly not over-the-counter. Good evening, Mike. Uh, Mika. Did you bring? Did I bring what? Did I bring what? Uh, well, it's only for for cramps, and so it's not like actual. It's not. It's not hot drugs. <laughs> um, it's it's nothing. Nothing bad. But did you bring? Yes, Miss Olgari. Here we go. What is this? A letter of recommendation. <laughs> For my mother, yes. Hmm. I don't know where your mother got that idea, but... That is not how things work here. That's a pretty old-fashioned way to get into a magic school. <laughs> At least, you didn't send it to me attached to a bird's foot. Anyway. No, little one. I was asking for your... Uh, I was asking for your apprentice supplies. <laughs> ah, those. Yes, miss. Uh... I have the broom, the magic book, the temp the tempera paints, the chocolate. Um. What about the skull talisman? Yuck, the talisman, yes. I have that too. Uh. Um, miss... Miss, where am I staying? Could I have a room up there, please? I'd like to see the night sky. Yeah. Mom said that you can see shooting stars from the top of Mont Gone. Uh. Shooting stars? Galaxy dust? Your mother should never have filled your mind with such childish fancies. It will be a challenge, but I'll turn you into a fully-fledged witch. However, little one, many other apprentices have jumped off the cliff on their brooms. And never come back. <laughs> it won't happen to me. I've been practicing a lot, Miss Olgari. Two stuff. <laughs> oh, really? Let's see, then. Here's your first lesson. Make your way back up here. On your own. <gasps> oh no, we're flat. We're flat now. Darn Olagari, that really hurt. <gasps> My broom is broken. Aww. Oh no, the family broom isn't splinters. Hope I can repair it. Looks like there's a village up ahead. Maybe someone there can help me. Yeah, so this is also how the demo started. Hold on, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take one of these pills. I'm I can't show it on stream, so I have to I have to do this real quick. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> what is 
this? Collectibles. The island of Mont Gon is littered with treasures to collect and mysteries to uncover. Use the Napopo statuettes to purchase witchy skins and broom trails. Search the offering fountain where Edgar, Oligari's crow, will be waiting for you. Uh, the Simiente jars hide the collectible tarot cards of the villagers of Mont Gon. But to crack the jars, Mika must fall from high in the sky and crash into them. I see, I see. I guess we can do that at some point, maybe. <laughs> Hold on. I also, I also missed a bunch of stuff, I think. Hold on. Two stop. She has this skill where she just manages to always be in the way. <laughs> uh, um... But hey, Rhianne, and I'm so sorry I missed you. Um, I'm so sorry I missed you. I I missed a bunch of stuff, I guess. Um. <laughs> Being Vepri mom, yeah. <laughs> but no, my mom didn't bring snacks. She brought me... She brought me pain meds and, uh, well, some, uh, firewood that has to dry up. So I had to help her carry that. That's why I was gone for so long. <laughs> That's why I was gone. But you're in pain too? I'm so sorry. You're a meat vessel. <laughs> that's your skill too, you you twins. You're not you that's not true. That is not true. Lucky for her that she's cute, though. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, a bit uh, off talking, but you need advice for knowledgeable people. You have two hours to make your website, nothing complicated. Main page, res resume page, portfolio page, and contact form. But Squarespace and others are so expensive. Do you have any suggestions? I do not. I haven't had anything to do with websites like that in a long time. So unfortunately I do not have any... Oh. Well, I didn't mean to... It's a sponge. Yeah, I, I unfortunately can't help you with that, but I'm pretty sure some people can. I wonder what I'm gonna do with the sponge. Hmm. <gasps> There's a statue here too. I'm gonna get all the collectibles. All of them. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Hi there, little one. Where you come from? From the top of Mont Gon. Miss Witch Oligari pushed me down. <laughs> Poor thing, that's quite a fall. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Allegra, the Orella Town Artisan. I'm mostly a potter, but people rely on me to fix all kinds of things. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Mika, a witch apprentice. Um, this might sound weird, but would you happen to know how to repair a magic broom? Uh-huh. Ah, sure. I can try to make some repairs, but it won't fly as well as it used to. Uh, okay, just hold on a minute, little one. 
Aha. Here's your repaired broom. Repaired broom. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, heh. <laughs> I should go. Bye, Allegra. Maybe someday I'll come to town to pay you a visit. Uh, Wait, do you really think you can fly back up there on this tiny, wobbly, barely repaired broom? You are hilarious. Uh, huh? I don't get it. Oh, let me explain, little one. If you want to get back to the top of Mont Gon, you need to buy a new broom. But not to worry. If I can fix your bashed up old broom, then I should be able to make you a new one from scratch. I just need some money for materials, so, um, four coins should cover it, I think. <laughs> but, heh, I have no money. They need to find a job, right? I hear the delivery company is hiring. Uh... But, but witches. Witches don't work. Uh -huh. Oh, don't make that long face. Look, just go run a few errands, and before you even notice, you'll have yourself a lovely, shiny new broom. You know, if it's that, if that's the thing that witches don't have to work, then you know, I I already found my calling <laughs> ages ago. <laughs> I guess I guess I'm a witch. Me too, Stan. I even have my familiar right here. I'm practically set already. It was such a dumb way that caused it too. Uh, you were taking your night meds and one of them is really small. It got lodged behind your tonsil for like 15 minutes. You were coughing and gagging. You think it cut it because today it feels worse than a strep throat. Really? Oh no, that is so bad. Strep is really, really painful. Holy shit. I mean, you could ask, you could ask Rod, Smarty. Um... Because he tends to know more about these things. You'll have yourself a lovely shiny new broom. Aww. Okay. If that's the only way, I'll do it. I'll work. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's the spirit, little one. Now, the delivery company's office is in Orilla Town's main square. Just fly straight ahead and you will find it in no time. Got a new broom. The repaired broom lets Mika fly. To make to take out the broom, press X, and to put it away, press X again. The repaired broom, with the broom out, you will fly with L to dive quickly, press LT. Uh, also, you can do a little jump in the air by pressing Y. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. Here, you can have this sponge as a... as payment. <gasps> it's a bunny! A bunny! Can I pet it? Aw. That it can't eat at all, bar barely can drink water, it hurts so much to even take a sip, you had to force a Tylenol down earlier and you thought you were gonna puke from the pain- oh no. I didn't even know that was possible. I'm so sorry, black cats. Pumpkins! It's a burb. Hey, burb. See, we can fly. Well, we can glide at least. <laughs> we can glide. Oh, damn. Okay, let's try that again. I just wanted to get up here. Okay, maybe I can't yet. I 
thought you said that I could jump. Okay. <laughs> but I want to go up there. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Hey, I did it. Oh, yeah, this is one of the things they said, that you had to jump from up high and smash it with your butt. Got a collectible again. Wait. Oh, actually, I didn't have to <laughs> glide up here to do that. Uh, Rilla Town Lower Ruins. Whispering Beach. We can fly. Yeah. I mean, I'm supposed to come here later, I suppose. So. Not the time. Let's go and do what we were supposed to do. See, I never do what I'm told. <laughs> I never do what I'm told. It's a doggo! I mean, I think we're supposed to be able to pet the doggo. <gasps> we can! What? We pet... Are we actually petting the dog? I'm not entirely sure. Does this count? I think I think maybe it does. <laughs> um, hey, ghost! How you doing? Finally back home? What have you been up to? Doing pretty good. How you doing? Whose child am I? M my, my mom's child. What's it to you? Uh, it's a really, really, really hot day, isn't it? Sure is. What is this? Trash can. Uh, this is probably the office. Hello, girl. Are you here to send a package? I'm sorry, but we're currently out of del delivery personnel. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, I'm actually here to apply for the job. So, the name is Mika, and I'm your new courier. Hmm. Such enthusiasm. How sweet. Hmm. Well, well. Let me tell you about your duties. Imagine if it was this easy to get a job uh, today. <laughs> You have complete freedom to organize your delivery schedule. You manage your own time. Hmm. No pressure. You have my word. I'm Gref, your new boss. Also, we're getting an ad starting now. <laughs> oh, that sounds nice, boss. And, uh, hmm. I think that's all you need to know for now. So let's get started, shall we? Here's your first delivery. <laughs> hmm. Before that, boss. I'd like to know about the pay. <laughs> Are you seriously asking about the salary? Is that all that matters to you? I mean, if you're getting a job, you have to know how much it pays, right? It's not its not a, char a charity. <laughs> you started the Fields of Mystery and so far you love it? Nice, nice. I've heard good things about it. Well, I, honestly, it seems like everyone is playing it these days. You just realize how yeah, this emote is perfect. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> I was actually gonna... Um, because this game was a Kickstarter project. And I was actually gonna... Uh, back it. So I could get a... A little... A figurine of Mika. But at the time I couldn't afford it and I was so sad about it. <laughs> I was so sad about it. I wanted I wanted one. 
But yeah, this this was actually in the demo. So I think yeah, like I have done this before. But yeah, are you seriously asking about the salary? Is that all that matters to you? What about the emotional satisfaction from flying all over this beautiful island? That'll be nice and all, but I really need to know how much you'll be paying per delivery. Haha. <laughs> okay. Since you insist. Your earnings are based on your performance. In short, you're paid according to how well you do your job. So, the recipients. Well, they will simply rate your service using three different color colored stamps. If the delivery is perfect, you'll get a green stamp, and you will then earn a coin. If the delivery is mediocre, you'll get a yellow stamp, and you will earn nothing. And if something goes wrong and you get a red stamp, well then, we'll be having a very serious talk, young lady. Okay, I get it, boss. Only green stamps to get paid. Exactly. I'm glad to hear you understand the terms of our agreement. Ah, I almost forgot. Your work will be rated on a delivery card. Hmm. Uh, a what? <laughs> Hold on. Um. Wait, where's the mouse? There we go. Um. Satisfaction doesn't pay rent. It's true. It's true. Just the money. <laughs> Just the money. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what uh, what have you been up to today, ghost? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I missed your message. Um doing amazing that you're home and you have a side job delivering some packages. Wait. You also deliver packages? So are we today. <laughs> so are we today. By the way, hmm. a delivery card girl. Document that allows you to check delivery information, like recipients or locations or. <laughs> What's that face for? Oh, I see. You're new in town, aren't you? You should have been one of these too. <laughs> oh, a map of Mont Gone. Thanks, boss. It's going to be really handy. Hmm. Happy to help. Just come back when you have complete. Completed your delivery card, and I'll evaluate your uh, earnings, okay? Now, we're all set. Let's get started. We are behind schedule. <laughs> I'm ready, boss. The old sea dog, Sailor Obel, is waiting for this package. We'll find him in the porch of his house near the shipyard. This is a new thing, though. Just started yesterday. <gasps> oh, you did! Nice! That sounds good. How are you liking it so far? Is it is it is it is it chill? Is it nice? You know, as far as jobs goes, I mean, as jobs go, I mean. Yay! Understood, boss. Girl. Well, it goes without saying, but be careful, please. Huh? Don't hit the parcel, or get it wet. Making and pick up packages and other objects by pressing A. To drop them, press B. Simple enough. Uh, upon delivery, the integrity of the packages is measured with damage points. Packages can be damaged by hits, water, and time. The delivery card contains package, de package details, info about the shipper, the recipient, vulnerabilities, and delivery status, and rating. Press blah to check the delivery card and the map. Okay, well, he's at the dock. Hmm, this girl is so enthusiastic. Well, isn't that what people want uh, in a worker? Usually. Uh, also, I don't know where I am on the map. I 
I don't know where I am. The coincidence with the game is unsettling. <laughs> it's pretty funny, huh? Okay, so it's the, not that dude. Or these dudes. They're two. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Mr. Oval, Captain, a package for you. Well met. Are you the new courier? Yes, it's my first day. In fact, this is my very first delivery. <laughs> ah, that's lovely. They can't. I feel honored. I'll give you the highest rating then. Maybe um, you should check the package before you rate my service. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Thank you. Well, if it's fragile, he probably should have checked it. <laughs> uh, since you're here, I'd like to ask you to make a delivery for me. I need you to take this to my grandson. He went sailing this morning and... Uh, he didn't take his lunch. Oh no, he didn't take his lunch. Um, you love how the silver badge goes well with your name color? <gasps> yeah, you got a new badge today. Yeah, it's... um, It changes color based on the how how long you've had it so at six months it will change to silver and at nine months it will change to gold but it does look pretty good with your name i agree i agree but oh my god he didn't take his lunch <laughs> he's a bit absent-minded isn't he but it's okay i'll take it to him all right here you are grandson's lunch he be sailing around the sh shipyard. Go upstairs and you should be able to see him. Mm Hi, -hmm. Captain. On my way. Uh, one more thing before you leave. Be careful. Don't get it wet. Well, this, this will be uh, interesting. I assume it's over there. Why is this making me nervous? <laughs> no, I got it wet. <laughs> Can I restart? <laughs> Can I? Can I restart? <laughs> oh no, his lunch got wet. You can reset the delivery of a damaged package. Keep pressing B, and the package will return to its spawn point. As if nothing happened. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get it wet. What was the first thing that I did? Got it wet. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is what we did. <sighs> we'll match that well with the gold, though. Oh, shit. This silver lilac purple is perfect. Mm. There we go. Ahoy, matey, it's like you fell from the sky. Well, I kind of did. What are the odds with this game and your new side job? <laughs> yeah, and it's like, yeah, don't don't get your packages wet, ghost. <laughs> oh, his name is Opic. <laughs> I first thought you were quoting the game. Honestly, same. I also thought you were just talking about the game. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm Mika, the new delivery person, and um, I brought you something from your grandpa. Mm -hmm. Oh, well met. I'm uh, Opik. Thanks for bringing it here. Flying over the sea is not easy. <laughs> I hope. I didn't screw it up. Huh. Nay, hey, don't worry. It's alright, matey. Yeah, it's like uh -huh. nothing happened. Oh, my old man, Ovel. He's always thinking of me. You know... We used to go sailing together, but it's hard for him these days, at his age. So, do you feel lonely? Hmm, sometimes. But it's not as bad as it sounds. Actually, it's nice being at sea. Everything is calm and quiet. Oops, sorry. Um, I should be on my way then. Hey, that's not what I meant. I'm really enjoying your company. It's just, I'll be fine on my own when you're gone. 
Uh, anyway, I have something to ask you. How would you like to catch a fish? A fish? Yeah, this this is how we gonna. So I I already know how this is gonna work because you catch fish with a, a fish bowl in this game, <laughs> not a fishing rod. Um. Wait, hold on. But IRL, you're more of a golden girl, so you guess you'll have to reach the nine months as well. <laughs> hey, I would be honored, Marty. That's your new side job. This is your game, actually. Mm. <laughs> You'll BRB. You have to try and force another Tylenol down. Oh, I'm. Um, yeah, I hope. I hope you feel better soon, Black Cats. I hope it helps. Yeah, it, don't die. And don't get your package wet. Well, I'm not sure about that, Opic. I feel bad for the little fish. Ah, huh. oh, don't worry about that. We use fish bowls, so they won't get hurt. Huh. What do you say? Would you try catching a fish for my old man? Huh. All right, Opic. Leave it to me. A fish bowl with a minnow. How to catch a minnow? In Mount Gone, uh, the bravest sa uh, sailors catch the fish without hurting them. Find a fish bowl, fill it with water, and then try to catch a fish. You can also release them by dropping the fish bowl into the water. Matey, I tried to catch a minnow for my old man, but they're really fast. <gasps> Look at this! Hey, I got one! It wasn't fast at all. What do you mean? <laughs> it was just waiting to be be taken. <sighs> oh, how wonderful, my dear. Deckhand is here. What have you brought me this time? It's a fish for you. Oh, Pig sent you, did he? Oh, my boy. Yes, but don't eat it. Huh? Eat it, you say? Nonsense. I'll put it in the aquarium with all the other fellows. <laughs> Phew. It may seem silly, but I look at them. I, uh, when I look at them, I feel like my boy is here with me, even while he's out sailing. Oh, oh well, oh well. Oh, oh well. <laughs> oh. Sorry I'm wasting your time. Here, you get the highest rating again. Fishbowl with minnow. Uh. Ah, before you leave, I need a favor, Deckhand. Hmm. Oh, sure. What do you need? Could you please take this package back to the delivery office? <laughs> uh, this is the package I brought you earlier? Um. Aye, but the address is wrong. It's neither mine nor my boy's. <laughs> oh, I'll take it back to Gref then. Sorry for the inconvenience, Captain. Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind. Thanks to this, uh, we, uh, thanks to this we met. And for that, it was worth the time. <gasps> Nice. Whee! Huh. Here we go. Huh. Girl, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, um, Ovel wasn't expecting anything. You gave me the wrong address, I guess. Huh? Wrong address? That's not possible. I don't make mistakes. Ah, sure. Sure. It was deliberate, girl. It was all part of the test. <laughs> really? It doesn't seem like... Yes, yes. And you passed. <gasps> I passed? <laughs> hmm, this package is actually for Bram. With the two R's. Bram. You met him before, right? I have? I'm not worried about choking as much as throwing it up because you can't control the gagging. Oh. Hopefully it will it will go smoothly, black hats. Um. Uh, I don't think so. The one who owns the ice cream kiosk? No, nothing. Looks like you haven't been to the beach yet. <laughs> Never mind. His kiosk is easy to spot. It's just. It's just behind the shipyard. Oh, okay. On my way. Uh, 
I see, I see. Here? <gasps> it is here. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Bram. I have a package for you. Um, are you okay? You seem a bit off. Uh -huh. I'm stressed. I just opened the... Shearing Guido? And it's already going wrong? Well, I don't know what that is. And this old ice cream maker is doing its best. But I can feel it's going to break down any second now. Hope the new one I ordered will arrive soon. Uh... Actually, maybe this package could be it. <laughs> this is it. A piece of luck at last. Hey! Ole! Slightly damaged. What do you mean slightly damaged? Oh. I didn't damage the package. What do you mean? So, you're the new courier, right? I need your help. Hm. Yep, what do you need me to do? Um, see those Ilsa and Han over there near the beach mansion? They ordered an ice cream. Uh -huh. I told them not to go far. But they insisted... Uh, they insisted. They didn't listen a word I said. They didn't listen to a word I said, I guess. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has, has those things. <laughs> True. But I didn't... I, it's It shouldn't be damaged. I, I know that's not what you... Said that too, but... Looks like you survived. <laughs> um... um. Would you take, uh, would you take them their ice cream? Wait, what? Hmm. Cool, I can do that. But careful of the bright sunshine. The ice cream will uh, just turn into lemonade if you don't hurry. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. I'll do it in the blink of an eye. Uh. Sorry, I have a lot on my plate right now. 40 seconds, but I don't know who I'm gonna deliver it to. Is it this person? No, these are the people. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Did you order an ice cream? <gasps> Whoa, my ice cream is here. Hey, no, it's for me, Sib. <laughs> Aha, so, um, who is it for exactly? Hey, Sib. Look. Yes. Who am I? You cannot appreciate the delights of its delicate flavor. Heh huh? <laughs> Father Andrew sounds more like this... Wait. Sounds more like this... Though, Sib. Wait, I'm so confused. What is this dialogue? Father Andrew sounds more like this, though, Sib. <laughs> This piece of ice cream has an exquisite texture with an outstandingly remarkable taste. Mahaha. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> Excuse me? Ah, oh, the ice cream, yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. What? All right. Yeah. Ah, ooh. <laughs> is it good? Is it tasty? What is this dialogue? What? <laughs> Take it easy. You're gonna get brain freeze. <laughs> Ole, I've completed my delivery card. I'll need graph to collect my wages. Let's do it. Let's do it. You didn't take it yet? That guy made you think of Hannah. Oh. I did not understand what song you were talking about. <laughs> uh, you smell a bully? Yeah, maybe. I wouldn't be too surprised. Uh. Hey, boss. I've completed the delivery card. Hmm. Really? Already? Let me see. Oh, look at this. So many green stamps. That's quite a performance. <laughs> <laughs> People were really nice to me. 
and it was so cool flying around the town. Oh, glad to know you like the work, girl. Here, your wages. Hmm, you did so, so well. You deserve a treat. I have a gift for you. A gift? You see that mailbox over there? Input this code into it. <laughs> 0102. I see. Amazing deliveries uniform. We got a uniform? Oh, what's this? A courier's, a courier's uniform? Hmm, this new design is nicer. The old uniform was so... yellow. Well, well. So that makes it official. Congratulations. You passed your evaluation test. My what? I wasn't an employee? Actually, no. But it's nothing personal. It's the way things are usually done. Anyway, that's it for today, girl. Go and get some rest, okay? The real challenge starts tomorrow. I see, I see. They deserve brain freeze. If only they had a brain cell between them. <laughs> what a shame. Yeah. I think I will get a lot out of... Is he trying to take advantage of me? I... I sm that, yeah, I think so. I mean, he already did. Rude. I think I remember that there was a cat somewhere in the demo. Let's see if we can find a cat. Smoke generates electricity in this place. Cutting edge science. Hmm. What is this chair? <laughs> what is this chair? They're being meanie heads. Mm. He's a meanie head too. He is <gasps> collectible. And a collectible here too. Hmm, do sirens exist, matey? Don't play act with me. You ate my sandwich. Wait. I mean, they're not mutually exclusive. He could have eaten your sandwich and sirens can exist. Just saying. Wait, what is this? What is that? Is that a mouse? It's a rat. It's a rat. Hey, doggo. You're running after me because you want pets? You're grouchy today because of the pain. All the weenies will be called out for their actions. <laughs> hey, as, as it should be. People should be called out for their actions, you know? Another collectible. I do remember there was a cat, though, in the demo. Well, there's a bunny. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Is this where I'm supposed to sleep now? <laughs> Good to see you again, little one. Do you have what I asked for? <laughs> yes, I have some money. I hope it's enough. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you've been working really hard. Well done. This will easily cover it. Just wait a minute. Here you are. A gleaming brand new basic broom. I got a basic broom. <laughs> cool. Ah, Allegra. Just imagine the look on Oligari's face when I show up much earlier than she expects. So, you plan to leave right now, straight after getting your new broom? What a bummer. Hey. Huh? What do you mean? Well, you can't abandon the people. You're committed to a job. The island needs a delivery person. We need you. Uh... Besides, 
I don't think your new broom will fly that high. And he won't be very fa uh, be very fast either. Aww. Oh. However, it is the perfect broom to learn how to fly. <laughs> uh, I know how to fly. Uh, <laughs> do I need to remind you how we met? Clevor! Nine months? No, 11 months, but it's a nine... <laughs> Eleven months! Holy crap, that's so long. Thank you so much. How are you doing, clever? Let me give you shouty outy. How are you doing? How are you doing? Time really flew. It really has, honestly. <laughs> it's been almost a whole year. That's insane. But I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. But doing some chill gaming today. Very chill today. Are you okay? Work is rel relatively quiet and the weather is nice. Hmm. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. How's the week? Honestly, it's been, um... Not the greatest so far, but... Hopefully, it's getting there. <gasps> that reminds me. I forgot to mention earlier. Um, yeah, because this will be a very witchy week. We're playing a witchy game now, and on Saturday, I'm gonna be cosplaying as Ronnie while uh, finishing Ronnie's questline in Elden Ring. So we're gonna be a moon witch on Saturday as well. I'm gonna be in full cosplay. <laughs> so we're playing cozy, chill, witchy game today, and then less cozy and chill which she cosplay on on Saturday. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's going good overall though. It is. It's been it's been it's it's okay. It, you know how it be. The the the, the monthly stuff is, is is can be a pain in the butt sometimes. I had to have my mom bring some meds earlier. <laughs> because I'm all out. Um I'm all out, so... But yeah. We push, we push through. Um, but how you been though? Like, how is the garden and everything going? I feel like I haven't been hanging out in a lot of chats lately. But it's coming along. Nice, nice. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. Yeah, we're just... We're, we're... I, will, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. You took off the rest of this month from streaming. You only had two left scheduled and have just been getting all of that done. Hmm. Understandable. Yeah. Sometimes it is difficult to get things done if you have other things scheduled as well, so I understand. But hey, old crow! It's good to see you! It's good to see- it's good to see you too, crow. Yeah, I haven't been live since Friday, uh, last week, so it's been- it's been almost a whole week for me as well. <laughs> Uh, but it doesn't feel like it's been that long, but at the same time it does. I don't know. It's weird. Because I've had the mindset of I'm gonna be streaming, and then I haven't. So it's like... Even if I haven't streamed, I don't feel like it's been that long, because my mindset has been on the fact that I'm supposed to stream. <laughs> I think I can't relax and, like... I feel like I have, you know, time off unless I have decided that I'm gonna have time off. Does that make sense? <laughs> well, maybe I need a little more practice than I initially thought. Yeah, I had to look for a place to stay. Uh -huh. Ah, you can stay here with me. 
have plenty of space. You sure? And, um, what about Oligori? She's waiting for me. Oh, yes, Oligari. The one who threw you off a cliff. She She's clearly really eager to see you soon. <laughs> so, what do you say, little one? <laughs> hmm, I think I'm gonna stay for a while. And get back to work. You better have a powerful broom next time, Allegra. <laughs> Alright, come back with eight coins and I'll build you a mighty one. I promise. Nice. We got a new broom, guys. <gasps> Cutscene. Or not. Those are some loud sequels. Hmm. Punctual as clockwork and dressed to the nines. Such a good girl. It did to you, but you definitely get deserve your time off. Hmm. Wait, you 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 noticed I was gone? <laughs> That actually makes me happy to hear because sometimes I feel like, like I treat my stream as if, uh, like as a job in the sense that I'm, I'm, you know, taking time off or, or, you know, just not streaming when I'm supposed to and not being punctual, punctual and everything. But then it's like, then I start to think about it, but no one really pays attention to that because no one notices if I'm here or not is what I like that is how I think in my head after a while like does the people really notice at all because or is it just in my own head because I kind of compare it to to a job in a sense in that sense at least I don't know but I haven't really taken time off in that sense though I just didn't feel too good yesterday and on Saturday. I mean, I guess I kind of took time off then and that was scheduled. Mm -hmm. I didn't choose to change my clothes though. <laughs> well, well. Here, take your new delivery card. Now that you have the honor of being a real full-time employee of Amazing Deliveries, you earned four coins for every green stamp. <gasps> four coins per stamp? <laughs> really? That means a race? Well, you were paying me almost nothing before, or... Huh? This is an opportunity, that's what it is. And a good one. I care about you. Dude, we just met yesterday. Holy crap. My employees are like my family. And so, I reward efforts and commitments. Now, to business. We are behind again. Take a look at the take a look at the delivery card. <laughs> hmm, that's not a bad thing to think that. I guess not. I at least it lowers uh, any expectations in that sense, but I don't know. I don't know. But how are you doing though? How you doing, the old crow? There are three initial deliveries already booked, and then there will be two more after processing. <laughs> huh? Five packages at once? Hmm. I told you today was the real deal, didn't I? But no, just these three for now. Come back in a while and I'll have the others ready. Hmm. Okay. Well, your first package is right here. Take it. Hmm. It's for someone who lives in a tent near the Windy Meadows. Um, Kiala is the name. She has ordered a camping lantern. How do you know what people order? Have you looked through their packages? Can you take care of it as soon as possible? Thank you very much. Will you fair? Hope everyone else is here is doing well as also. Hmm. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. Have you been playing some games? Watching some some shows or movies? Alrighty, balls. Camping lantern. Okay, so it's not uh, wrapped up, I guess. What? A kite? <gasps> oh no. Uh... Oh, what was that? A kite? 
Looks like some kids lost it in the windy winds. Oh, in the windy winds. <laughs> oh no, the winds. They're, wi they're, they're windy today. The winds do be windying. Oh, maybe. Maybe I can return to its owner. Well, do whatever you want, as long as you do your work first. Oh, okay. I'll do that, boss. Uh-huh. Don't get me wrong, girl. Listen to me... Listen to me very carefully. I won't pay for packages that weren't ordered in the office. Noted. So, in that case, I guess I'll have to make my own personal delivery card. <gasps> I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, seems the professional thing to do, and... Hey, the delivery card is a patent-pending tool for amazing deliveries, employees only. <laughs> Got a new broom. The basic broom lets Mika do the Zephyrus flight. You can use the Mount Gon airstreams now. Oh, cool, cool. The basic broom. Horizontal air currents make Mika gain speed, while vertical air currents make Mika gain height. This broom also allows you to carry two packages at the same time. I see. Oh. I guess I can't use it again. Oh, it's on the other side? Holy crap! Really, you've been you not been feeling it. That's fair. We got a lurk, BRB. Thank you so much for the lurk. Uh. Ugh. I'm scared. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Is this the one I'm supposed to deliver to? Yeah. Ah, hmm. I didn't expect to meet a witch today. Finally, someone noticed. Name is Mika, and um, I'm the curry you called earlier. Hey. Vanny here. Hi, uh, hello. Independent scientist on the verge of the most important discovery of all time. About the science of magic. Hey. Wow. Yeah, this is not the person, apparently. But I need help. Ugh. I hate asking for help. <laughs> what? Can you take these luminescent mushrooms to my lab? They can light a lamp by proxy. Uh... Oh, cool. Then, um, uh, they could be useful for... Uh... Shh, don't say a word. You'll know when I publish my magnum opus, my research. <laughs> but if your work is about magic, I could help you a bit. Huh? As a courier, a courier, yes. That's why I called you, understand? Believe me, I would go there myself if I knew how to make my own homunculi clones. Yeah. Well, what are you waiting for? I need you to go right now. Get these luminescent mushrooms to my research lab. It's over that hill, on the way to the old windmill. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in a jiffy. Wait, wait. I almost forgot. I also need you to bring me the analysis results, too. <laughs> okay, um, just tell me one little thing. Why are these results so, so important? Huh. Really? Really? It'll be the key to understanding the magical atmosphere of the Isle of Winds. Huh? Ouch, you don't know how to yell. I get it. They're important. Hey. Huh. It's just the excitement of being on the verge of such a groundbreaking discovery. Magic mushrooms. Uh... Okay, so I'm not in the right spots yet. Uh Hmm. 
Hmm. Is it here? I mean, it looks like a lab. Okay, so I just have to put the mushrooms on this plate. <laughs> ah, the machine just took them out of my hands. Lurk, need food? Beer, eat? Thank you so much for the lurk. I hope you enjoy your food. Magic mushrooms. Hmm. What do we have here? What am I even reading? Let's go back to Vanny's. Analysis results. Yeah, do not get them wet. Whee! Do you have the results, Mika? Do you have them? <laughs> yes, here you are. Okay, okay, okay. Let's um take a look. This looks very cute, doesn't it? Doesn't it? You took it, it took so long because you have to give yourself like a five minute pep talk. You know it sounds so dramatic and like you're exaggerating, you wish you were. No, I, I understand. I mean, if you compare it to a a, a strep infection, I understand. That is such a painful thing to have. What makes it, uh, makes it worse that you just have to write it out because going to the doctor would be a huge waste of money just for them to say keep taking Tylenol. Hmm. Yeah. But you did it though. You did it. <laughs> hmm. According to this graph, the mushroom's com composition is... What? Unknown to the machine, so by extension, to any known science. So that must mean, zip your mouth. Let the experts draw their own conclusions. You can just bear witness to this historical moment. <laughs> All right. So um, this proves that the mushrooms are rare, but not necessarily magical. Although, hmm, I think I've seen something similar to this. Hmm. I got something similar when I sampled the coal from the heart of the mountain. Like the heart of a uh, living thing? Who knows? It's a mystery. It's what makes these arches float and creates the air currents. <laughs> ah, what incredible findings. I need to keep researching. That you do, I guess. <clears throat> ah. I thought I was gonna die. Ugh! I thought I was gonna die again. Ah, don't let me die. As in, not necessarily dying. Just um, put out the fires. You can take a sponge and wet it by dipping it in water. Flying the sponge over fire will precipitate water, extinguishing the fire. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm just scared of getting getting this lantern wet. You know? Ah! Uh, can you stop in the middle here? Second. So uh. Ah! Uh. It's kind of difficult to control. <laughs> I need- I need to focus. I'm going here to collect... Uh. This. I want all the collectibles. All of them. Um, 
Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm standing over it, but it does uh, like. I also have a different package that I'm scared of getting getting into the water with it. I'm scaled. I think this is where I'm supposed to go with the lantern. These assholes are here too. Uh. Okay, I'm close. I'm close to where I'm supposed to be. Well, it doesn't say that it can't get wet, but still. It's windy. It's heckin' windy, guys. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Okay. Ow! No, shit! You ruined my package! Ow! Again? Shit. Yeah, it's heckin' windy, guys. I guess I'm gonna go on... <laughs> Get a new one. <laughs> I can't. I can't deliver a damaged package. I have some. Some. Uh, what's the word? Um. I forgot the word. It's a word. But at least now I can get the sponge wet. There we go. And put out the fire. <gasps> There's a thing here too! God damn it. Okay. It is heckin' windy. No, get up there. God damn it. Do what? I can't believe a sponge is gonna be enough to put out this fire. <laughs> That's insane. <sighs> well, GG, sponge. The real MVP of the game. That's 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 impressive. <laughs> Wait, I missed this one. Ah, stop it. Ah. <laughs> uh. It is a little bit stressful to have things, um, carrying things that can be broken or, and some things can't get wet, you know, it's, I don't have a code. Okay, let's, let's start again. Let's do it again. Let's not get it. Let's not break it this time. It's hard to know what's gonna break it, though. <gasps> Collectible! I've seen some others as well, but... You're gonna have to wait. I 
At least this lantern, uh, it doesn't matter too much if I get that in the water. It do be heckin' windy though, over there, which is kind of, ah, scary. Didn't mean to put away the broom. Hmm. Ah. I think I'm gonna try to go this way. I mean, is this where it needs to be delivered? Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Trouncy, welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> for the raid I forgot the raid message hey that is totally fine that happens to me too sometimes it happens it happens you're a wizard no I'm a witch well I mean close enough I'm close enough how are you doing though how was your stream what were you playing hold on let me give you shouty outy star sector what is that what is that but yeah, thank you so much for the raid. For those of you who are new here, my name is Reprikos. I'm a Norwegian streamer. I am currently playing a new game called Mika and the Witch's Mountain, which was released today. Um, if you want to check it out, I have... This is a Steam code. Uh, that, no, not Steam code, but Steam link. It will take you to the page if you want to check it out. It's pretty cozy, chill, cute. Enjoying it so far. What do we... we we're basically playing as a witch, uh, making deliveries for people. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. That's pretty much what it is. Um, otherwise, I'm playing um, Elden Ring, New Game Plus these days. I'm going to do a Ronnie cosplay on Saturday. Um, and we're going to finish Ronnie's questline on Saturday. So that's going to be cool. Um... So yeah, I play a lot of different things. Play a lot of different things. And if you guys are not following Trouncy, go do it. Go do it. He plays a lot of different games. A lot of variety. A game for nerds? <laughs> hey, Awu. How you doing? Um... <laughs> um but hey, do... Dear Miss, dear Miss, how you doing? Welcome in. Trouncy says no backseating. Did you bring a trailer? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No backseating. No, no, no. O only, only front, front seating, I guess. Um, played Star Sector. Basically, you build spaceships and use them to destroy and rob other people's spaceships. Oh, I see, I see. Is it a single player or a multiplayer game? Is Norway and Norwegian the same thing? Uh, well, there are Norwegians in Norway, but I wouldn't say that it's exactly the same thing. But yeah, <laughs> in Norwegian means that I am from Norway. Indeed, that that is what it means. No backseating is. <laughs> It's 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 Jover. We lost. <laughs> hey DBL? Wait, what? What? I'm so confused. Did you jump the gun a little bit on that raid message, DBL? <laughs> welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> and hi by the way. Hi, welcome in. Uh, what do you prefer to be called by the way? I, I'm I sometimes it's like my brain wants to say say a, in more of a Norwegian way and then I'm like maybe not maybe not I guess really nerdy mm. yes but also no <laughs> uh, if 
felt like that would be the case, but wanted to confirm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's true. Uh, I am I am Norwegian, born and raised, so it is true. It, I I I am I, I so it's not exactly the same thing because I am not Norway. I'm not in the entire country, but I'm a teeny tiny part of it. A teeny tiny part of it. Single player, you start as a bum with a small ship, or at least that's the start you go with, and then you try to build a big fleet and be less of a bum. So, very much like real life, I would say. Maybe. <laughs> we all started as bums, I guess. Um, you make it sound like unemployment simulator space edition. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> forgot to raid, but, but you sure she would, she would have raided <laughs> But how did you come into my stream to do that if she didn't raid? <laughs> she didn't plan on raiding. I'm so confused. But I mean, you're welcome in here anyway. <laughs> um, you kill way fewer people in in game. Hmm. Is that something you're allowed to say? Uh, should we we be concerned? Out there in the galaxy, uh, galaxy is an outlaw. That's when you're chilling. Mm. And that does sound pretty chill. In game, in game, sure. Are you sure? Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll pretend that that's how we all saw it. Mm. An educated guess. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Tina does raid me quite, quite a bit, and I do appreciate it a lot. I do. Unfortunately, I never get to raid her because she streams earlier than I do. But yeah, so we're trying not to uh, damage our packages. Which is a, a challenge. It can be a challenge. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're, tr we're trying to, to deliver a package. In one piece. Uh, we're mailman playing Quidditch or whatever it's called. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, we're we're a witch. If I could reach the top of the mountain, I uh, I could reach the top of the mountain if I could catch one of those air currents. Hey, it's not what it's cracked up to be. Um, not not if you're delivering packages, at least. But hey, it's it's a pretty ch cute cute and chill game. You'd suggest a cup then. Uh, I would suck at IRL Quidditch, I have to say. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna try to start from here. <gasps> Another collectible. <gasps> there we go. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. We do have anonymous follows. Um, is the water coming from the packages? <laughs> uh, we're carrying a sponge. We needed the sponge to be able to put out, put out a fi fire earlier. So, it, it is a sponge. <laughs> Stepped on a flower, you mom. I know, I'm the, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. <laughs> Hi from Sweden, will you play Harry Potter the Quidditch? No, I do not think that I will. But welcome in though. Welcome in, Doctor Who. Uh, I I try to stay away from, from anything new from, from that uh, franchise, um, personally. Doctor Who from Sweden? S Sweden? <laughs> you have a condition, hey, I do too, I understand. I understand. I also do do have one of those or a few of those. It's it's do be like that. Um, uh, try not to. <gasps> Sheep. Okay, this is the person. Hey, we did it. Who's that lurking around? A thief? I warn you, I have claws. I I do too. Be careful. Um, 
Do we got an invite to an alpha test of the Quidditch game? Seemed cool. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Hmm. She do be connected like that. <laughs> uh, I see. Oh, I mean, if you if you get it for um, if you get to try it for free, then that that's different. I just don't want to pay that woman any money. That's all. But that doesn't mean you know I. Like if I could play a bunch of the games for free and stuff, I wouldn't mind. Um. Agreed. Mm. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um. I think that's totally fair. It was a free invite, so you mean who's gonna say no to that? That's true. I mean, that's what I mean. Like, if, you, if you're playing for free, that is totally fine. I just don't want to pay that woman anything. Um, hold on. Let me... I forgot to do this. Following for Screw J.K. Rowling. <laughs> hey, I, you know... I can, I can respect that. I can respect that. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, hey, as long as as long as it's free, I don't give a shit. Then it's fine. Like I don't have any like holier than thou thing, but I just don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna support her with my money. That's that's all. But hey, if you if you wanna if you have any chance to like You know, I don't wanna say the word, but you know if you can Sail the seven seas and all that stuff. That's that's totally different. Do it. What did she do again? She needed to piss on some. <laughs> well, she she has. Well, I I try not to talk about any politics in chat though, but she is very anti-trans. And um. And she supports a bunch of um. Well, what's the word? What's the name? There are different organizations that try to like work against um, trans people as well. So she's actually giving them money because she's so anti trans people that she that, that that's why like if she also uses money for it and he, yeah anyway anyway <laughs> not gonna go on a whole rant uh, about that but a friend of Jolly Roger <laughs> she a turk yeah you will say it mm. she's not a very nice person all right well anyway game looks cute yeah it's it does doesn't it doesn't it yeah, we just delivered a package. Uh, the thing is, with this game, we also need to make sure that we don't, like it, we don't break the packages, and we don't make certain certain packages can also not get wet, so we can't drop it in the water. So I tried to make sure that I get um full full um a full score on the packages. That's what we're trying to do. But who's that lurking around? A thief? I want you to have claws. And I won't hesitate to use them. Huh? No, I'm just a delivery girl. Oh. Delivery girl? That's the worst excuse in the world. For catching a thief in the act. <laughs> <laughs> eh, I'm here because of the camping lantern you ordered. <laughs> ah, what a nice thief you are. Look, I won't use my claws after all. Thank you, delivery girl. Name? Mm -hmm. Mika. Nice to meet you, Miss... Kiala, the one and only, the stray of the meadow. So, what about my lantern? Hmm. Right, right, here you are. Hmm. Well, you managed to get the lantern here in good time. I did, because I actually had to go and pick it up again for a second time, because I I broke it because of the wind here. <laughs> um, that's good air Uber review. Mm. It would be so nice to be able to, to fly on a broom, though, sometimes. I mean... Sure, it would be painful to sit on, but you know, you can you can make adjustments to it. Have like a, a little um, seat added to it, you know. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't expect a private company to handle this so well. Nice. 
<laughs> the truth is, it was a bit of a challenge getting here with all the air currents up there. Oh. Ah, companies are always so uh, focused on boosting profits by cutting costs. Did you know that one of the couriers is missing? What if she had an accident at work? Oh, um, I didn't know that. Gref didn't mention it. See, I told you, he, he this dude, he was sussy. Our boss, he's very sussy in this game. Um, but it won't happen to me. I'm my own broom. And it's in good condition. Oh. Hmm. And that's okay with you? Like, to bring your own broom? Hmm. Hmm, I understand, but if you're so bothered, why do you still use this kind of surface? Sur surface, by the way. Service. Oh. Do you really think that me or any of us have an alternative? Hmm. Yeah, so we have a scummy boss, I guess. This lamp comes from store almost... Wait, this lamp comes from store almost oil-free. Convenient, huh? I mean, I guess. I guess. Yeah, so we're carrying around this sponge. Um... <laughs> Because we needed to put out a fire earlier, and, uh, you know, it's helpful. Bah. No. I, I didn't- It looked like I was about to push it off the cliff. I didn't mean to do that. A little egg. What is that? What is that? It's another, uh, kite. Hmm. Can never be too prepared. It's true. It's true. You never know when you're gonna, gonna need a sponge. Damn, see? This is how I broke my the, the package the first time. I just got yeeted into the wall. Uh... But yeah, it's, it's pretty nice and chill, this game. I enjoy. I enjoy. And also, there's not as much pressure as it seems to... <laughs> because if, if you if you want to... Oh! Is there something behind the waterfall? No. Dude, games should always have something behind the waterfall. I'm just saying. Yeah, see? This is a scam. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm too far down. Also, we're getting an ad starting very soon. I try not to do anything in the game during ad breaks. Because I don't want people to miss out on stuff. I just tend to catch up on chat and stuff if, if there was anything. Mm. Whee! Wait, can I take the train to deliver packages and stuff? That would be nice. Because we're on, on the other side of the, the island now. This is a very good quality kite, and it looks very expensive. Hmm, I think it must belong to the most spoiled kids in town. <sighs> yeah, wonder who that is. Wonder who that is. Oh, and also, if in case you guys are wondering, you can pet the dogs. Well, I mean, it, I guess it's supposed to be like petting the dog, but you're not visually petting it. You just kind of do. <laughs> you just, you just kind of do. we all know that any game that has a dog or a cat or anything, you should be able to pet it, you know? Otherwise, it's a shitty game. No. <laughs> it's a carrot. Music here is pretty nice and chill, though. So these are the packages we've delivered so far. A 
and now we need to go back and get this one. Um, which will be back where we started, at the post office. That's where we need to get the other one. Yeah. Main goal, first lesson to become a witch. Climb back up alone. I have to fill out the delivery card before I can talk to Gref again. Hmm. Apprentice applies. I haven't looked at these things at all. Uh, Miss Witch Oligari asks for a bar of chocolate. I'm not sure if chocolate is magic or not, but I always feel better after eating it. And plastic skull amulet. Mom and Miss Witch Oligari told me that skulls are important for witches, but I don't think so. The skull talisman is too icky. But it has a flower and everything. What do you mean icky? Magic book. Mom said the family magic book had something to do with the island. Maybe that's why Miss Witch Olgari insisted that I bring it with me. Incantation tempera. The incantation tempera paints. I love my incantation tempera paints. They make the calligraphy of old spells less tedious. Hmm. Mom's letter of recommendation. My little sunshine can be a bit know-it-all and mischievous at times, but remember. So are you and me and all witches. It means we're gifted with uh, vivacity. Hm. I guess so. <gasps> we have two different outfits. This is what we're wearing now. I guess it's our work outfit. Also, these are tarot cards that we're going to collect. Um, we haven't gotten any yet, though. Wait, hold on. Okay. But we're back from the ads. Back from the ads. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just carrying this sponge around with me. <laughs> What are these little dudes? Look at these. Look at these. What are you? Burbs? Are these like ostriches or something? <laughs> They're just sats. They're just sat little birds. Why did the music stop? It's kind of freaky. Echoes. Back to the island. Yeah, the timing was perfect, but you mistyped. Lost. <laughs> hey, it happens. It happens. To be fair, this game has also had a lot of, um, well, uh, not a lot, but it has had some missing words and stuff. Oh, shit. We can go. Well, good thing I wasn't carrying any, any fragile packages. <gasps> it's Koa. It's it's a different game by the same developers. Um No, don't Ocarina, that's so cool. Someone must be really sad to have lost this. And wait, what is this? It has claw marks on its holes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of the sponge because There we go. Yeah, so there is a a different game by the same same developers called Mara. No, Koa and the Five Pirates of Mara. And uh, this is the main character that you play as. So I guess they they put her in the game here as well <laughs> as a little little Easter egg. I got a free code for that as well <laughs> after playing the demo for this game. So I played that sometime last year. Cutie pie, specifically speaking. Mm. <laughs> um, you can hear the forest song right now. Wait, you can? Ow! No! Shit! I 
broke the ocarina. No, I didn't break it, but... Eh. Need to be careful. Need to be careful. Eh. No, that looks dangerous. Let's not walk onto that. Shit, it's dark. Is it? Is it actually dark? Or is it just because of the area? <laughs> I guess it's uh, it's an ominous area. See, this is why we needed a sponge. <laughs> I guess uh, that's why we needed it. Okay. Have you heard that little nightmare three is going to be a thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have seen the the trailer for it as well, or was it? It was probably a teaser. Um, it looks cool. I don't really know why they decided to have a third game though, because it seemed very final, like the second game. Story wise, so I wonder what that's gonna be about. So what am I supposed to do with these packages then? How do I... I don't know. Hmm. So what am I supposed to do now? I mean, I haven't gotten any new things to do. I'm confused. Probably that's usually the reason developers make more games after the initial story is told. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know if it's necessary. I felt like the second game had an ending, you know? It didn't seem like there was anything more to it. The first one did. I never played the first, no, the second game though. I only watched other people play it because there was too much chasing. <laughs> uh, what? 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 What is going on? It's a raw. <laughs> uh, it's Rod and Richard. Welcome in! Welcome in! <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid! How was your streams? How was your 24 hour stream, Richard? Wait, did you... Did you go longer than the 24 hours? Or was it... Exactly 24? And how... You guys were playing Fastmo together, I saw. How was it? How was it? Go check out Richard, aka Ricardo, aka Dick, I suppose. <laughs> uh, and Rods. Rods is. I'm. I'm a mod for Rods as well. So, you know. <laughs> mod for Rods. Mods for Rods. Yeah. Thank you so much! Thank you so much for the, the, the sub! 16 months? Happy 16 months, Rods. It has been... Almost a year and a half. Almost a year and a half. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You're too kind. Um... You only watched the game, but you yeah, know that you mentioned it. I do feel like you remember the ending being some revelation about the evil people or something that seemed to conclude. Yeah. Yeah. It was a kind of a, a, a mind-blowing ending, though, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it because it's, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, welcome in. It's, it's Chris. 
It's Serufine. It's clever. Well, I mean, clever, you were already here. I mean, so was Sarah. <laughs> Smack the boss on the head for being a weenie. That's the new objective. Mm. And Zai, how you doing? <laughs> you dying? Go get some sleep, Richard. You have been, you've been, you've been alive for so long. I hope you, you, you deserve some good rest. And Rods, you better eat some bread that is not moldy. <laughs> or stale. You need to eat some fresh food. <laughs> Rick Dick checks out, yeah, yeah. Well, it's because, yeah, yeah. Technically, the stream was 28 hours, but you slept for 4 hours, so you made it 24 hours of gaming. You only slept for 4 hours, Richard? You, you need sleep. Go get sleep. You like this music? It is pretty nice, isn't it? It is. Welcome in, Double Raiders. Yee, welcome in, welcome in. Richard went beyond. Saroof. Yeah, Saroof is on fire. <laughs> Plus Ultra. Yeah. <laughs> um, but how is this game? It's really cute. It is really nice. We're playing as a witch who delivers packages on our broom. Around on this little island. It's pretty nice and chill. I got uh, a free Steam key for this game. And if you want to check it out, you can check it out on, on, on Steam. Here. If you want to. It came out today. It was released today. Rod is two months older than you. Well, to be fair, you came into my stream while Rods and I was doing a collab stream. <laughs> So it makes it makes sense. <laughs> How did you <gasps> Black Cats? Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Richard. Will guys started a hype train? Started a hype train? You do you wild. Thank you so much, Black Cats. I hope you enjoy the sub, Richard. Hope you enjoy the sub. Rod's is still your favorite Taylor Swift play. Metro. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. I am doing well. I hope you're doing well as well. Um, and yeah, uh, usually on Wednesdays, Rods tends to play uh, co-op, uh, Dark Souls 2 co-op with Chris, aka Krauses, and, and Seraphian. Um, but today they, they played some, some other games with, with, uh, both, uh, Richard and, and, uh, Lauren as well. I need more raids. <laughs> hey, we've had, we had, uh, some solid raids. We've had some solid raids now. I'm nice and chill? No, you. No, you. Collaboratively. Yeah, hype chain. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you need to raid and run anyone who came in with the raid, obviously feel free to do so. And Richard, you need to sleep. You need to sleep. Um. Richard hit his donor goal for having to wax his chest. Wait, I did hear about that, didn't I? Wait, was it? Didn't you also had had to get a tattoo, or is, has that not happened yet? Was that just one of the goals, or did you? have to do that. Sarah's some low because he's not feeling good. Mm. Yeah, he's not feeling good. Back his whole body. <laughs> and two. Well, head is pro- well, that sounds painful if you're waxing your head. Hold on, let me give some shouty outies. Uh, go follow Chris, aka Krauses, as well. Dad man. Everyone's- everyone's dad. Um. And also Sarufian. Go follow them both. Go follow them both. Go follow all of them. Dandelman. Yeah, Dandelman. Yeah, currently um off stream I, I'm playing um I'm playing a lot of Monster Hunter with, with Chris and, and Lauren. It's been a lot of fun. I've been missing it. I, I played it when it came out and I haven't really touched it since like 2019, I think? 
World? Yeah, it is Monster Hunter World. The bad one? <laughs> Wait, which one do you mean? You mean rice? Is that considered a bad one? Food is served. Also, hi, Ro hi, ghost. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, we call it Montu Hantu. Mon Montu Hantu. Rice is so bad. I don't know if I don't know if if uh, Chris and Lauren would agree, but I haven't tried it. I, it's like graphically speaking, it didn't really appeal to me, but I guess it was also made for the Switch, so it makes sense that it's not as good graphically, but. Yeah, I haven't tried Iceborne yet, so I am playing... Well, we're going to be playing that as well. We both... We all... Both. Uh, all three of us bought the DLC as well. Because I never really got around to playing that. Because I'd already stopped playing it when Iceborne came out. Because I didn't really... I didn't really enjoy playing it by myself. And I didn't have anyone to play it with. Um, so... That's why I'm playing it now, that I do have people to play with. Mm, but it's it's really good. It is really good. I, I've also been enjoying it playing playing it by myself now, which I didn't when, when it was new. <laughs> Rice is bad. You thought everyone loved it? I don't know. I feel like I hear different things. But yeah, you need to get food. Fresh food. Okay? <laughs> Maybe it's not so bad, but it's a step down from world. Mm. Iceborne does not disappoint. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. Yeah, I have not gotten it until just now. And it works really well because it's also on sale right now. So, the timing was good. You did, do need to get some food? Yeah. Go go get food, Rods. And also go check out Rods. Go follow Rods. Do it. He plays on Wednesday. Oh, Gobi, thank you for the 69 butts. But <laughs> go. It's not Gobi, but it's Ghost. Uh, thank you for the 69 bits. Um, yeah, Raw T streams on, on Wednesdays, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But hope you have a good stream. Thank you so much. And do 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 everything you need to do, Rods. Thank you so much for the raid and the resub. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Still breb No! <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, Ghost. Thank you so much. Rods is a burb, confirmed. He is, he is. He only eats stale bread. You're a picky gamer, you only recommend hot shit. Like the good kind of hot and good, <laughs> good shit. <laughs> I suppose, I suppose that is true. I suppose that is true. I mean, I guess it also depends on how you judge games. Um, like some people are more about the aesthetics and and uh, graphics and stuff. To me, that can be important. Um, it depends on the game. Um, and I also love a good story, but I don't need a good story for, to enjoy a game. It's, 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 it's a very subjective. Not that Monster Hunter tend to have good stories or anything, but... <laughs> Pop Time does burbs, no foxes, yeah. Yeah. It's sad. It's actually so sad. They need to do foxes as well. You got burb seeds? Bur burb seeds? You're the son of ba dad man after all. That is true. That is a good point. <laughs> It is discrimination. You judge everything? Mm. Yeah, I'm, I just, I think it depends on, on the game. It's like, I can be more lenient about things in a game if other things can weigh up for it. So, it, yeah, it, it's, it's hard to say. You're judging the music of this game right now and it's speaking to you on a spiritual level. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Hey, you punch sharks? You punch sharks? I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but be careful so they don't 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 chomp off your hand. Uh, that's not good. Uh 
What? I don't know what my uh, objective was now. Let my crampons... Crampons? <laughs> This really do be a moon week, for sure. <laughs> Crampons. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that is... That is hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna call it that. It's not called tampons anymore, it's just called crampons. Yeah, yeah. Love that. It's Shark's birthday today? <gasps> Happy birthday. Nice. Do you have any plans? Do you have any plans? Side gig. Nice flying. Thank you. Thank you. It's actually a little bit tricky sometimes, this, this whole flying thing. What am I? What am I? No, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hmm. Nothing planned. Gonna hang out here a bit. Nice. On your birthday? Gosh, I feel honored. I feel honored. <gasps> a rat. It's a little rat. It's just the, the flying goes faster and then, then oh, blah, 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 running. I, collectible. I keep mixing up the jump button and the, the pickup button. Up here. Uh, no, sh God damn it. It's also not very, um, yeah, the flying, it can be a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky. Yeah, I'm gonna... That's why I need to be up here, because I'm gonna drop down and do like a... Um... What's it called? Like a... A butt slam on this one? There we go. <gasps> the tower! That's how we get the tarot cards. Yeah, this was the first one that I, I, I smashed with my ass. But that's what they said we needed to do. A good old butt slam. I do wonder what I'm supposed to do now, though. It doesn't really say. Hmm. Let's see over here. I also don't want to run out of time. But I don't know how time works in this game. <gasps> Another butt slam? Uh. Okay, that was pathetic. <laughs> okay, let's grab a, a sponge. God damn it. That's not what I meant. I'm still learning the game, okay? Okay. We need to um Extinguish some fires. Maybe that's what we need to do to progress. I don't know. I don't know. How long I've been I've been learning? Uh, well, I started it today, and I started the game maybe like half an hour into stream. <laughs> so, uh, 
about a couple of hours. Uh, blah, blah, blah. About a couple of hours. God damn it. Up here. There we go. There we go. I really wish that I could learn how to fly IRL. That would be nice. So guys, if you could choose one superpower that you like any any superpower what would you choose if this is something you've thought about because you know it's a difficult question it is a difficult question if you haven't thought about it before at least okay let's <laughs> it's amazing though how a tiny sponge can 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 be enough here You found a magic orb. Combine the blue orbs with the wind cannon to activate powerful currents, which will increase your speed to dizzying levels. Hmm. You can combine the yellow orbs with the wind levitators and unlock shortcuts to higher areas of the Isle of Winds. Hmm. Did you hear crampons and ass smash in the last couple of minutes? Yeah, yes, you did. <laughs> You're listening while you fold laundry and you need to remember to add these to the dictionary. <laughs> yes, you did hear that. <laughs> Your ears did not deceive you. <laughs> uh... Oh, we did it. We made it. Ah, fuck. We, we did not make it. There was something else, though, that we could, um... That we could, uh... Extinguish. Can you just... Okay. I guess I need to sh sh start from here. Be invincible. You're tired of chronic pain. Hmm. Uh, no, I dropped my things. <gasps> he hanged. The hanged. What, what happened to the orb? Oh no. God damn it. I lost the orb. I didn't even get to try it out. You still sick? So you're gonna head to bed. Have a good night. Oh, thank you so much for stopping by, Sarah. I hope you feel better tomorrow. Hope you, you get some good rest and feel better. No no being sick. No being sick allowed. Mm. Okay. We didn't check out this boat. But I don't think there's anything here. Also, I'm not sure what this over here did. Oh, I could have I could have brought one of these. It doesn't work. Yeah, I could have brought the orb over here. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, 
Oh well. Oh well. Maybe it will like reset uh, when there's an, like a new day or something. I don't know. Ow! Yeah, you need to be careful here. <laughs> That was a pre preemptive owl. Okay, we need to go in. Well, up here. Uh, no, shit. Yeah, I really do need some flying lessons. <laughs> uh. There we go. Up here. There we go. <gasps> we found another orb. And another... What is this? An old amphora? I think it would make a nice aquarium decoration. <gasps> oh, we can give this to the old man. Okay, I'm just gonna use the sponge. Oh, what? There's a duck! <gasps> it's a duck! It's a little duck. Why oh, is so cute? We can have a. If we can have a random super specific superpower, then instead of invisibil invincibility every single time something hurts, which is 25 7, then you get $5, you would be a millionaire in like a week. Oh no. Well, I mean, that would be a good thing to, to get something out of it, I mean, but that that is a thing. Charms? I can buy outfits here? What does a charm do? I want the moon. It's, it's moon week after all. Maybe it's just a decoration for my my broom. It's not even showing on my broom. What was the point then? Hold on. Hmm. I'm confused. What is the point of that? There's a, a little, well, a gazebo, I guess. You have pre I preemptive owls, you have super delayed owls, combine us, <laughs> we make the perfectly timed owl friends. It's true. It is true. That's, that's a good point. Wasn't there, um... I guess it was on the other side. <gasps> Collectible. It's dark here. Wait, who are you? What in the world brings you here, brat? My time is extremely precious, so talk fast. Excuse me, Mr... Wasuit, wasuit. Well, I don't, I don't have a package for him though. I'm here on behalf of Amazing Deliveries to pick up your order. Is that correct, sir? Huh? You imply that you're not sure whether I place an order or not? Yet you still showed up here. <laughs> what? <laughs> welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Hey, you have the 
the same name as the game. You have the same name as the game. Welcome in, Mika. Are we playing the game about you? <laughs> Thank you so much. How was your stream? What were you playing? Hold on. Let me give you a shouty outy. Let me let me give you shouty outy. Hold on. Uh there we go. You were also playing Mika and the Witch's Mountain. I I had a feeling. I had a feeling because I hadn't seen your name before, but welcome in. It's just le legit your real first name. How to play this game. <laughs> Hey, I love that. I have done that too. I've also streamed a game that had my name in it. Um, so I, I understand. But how are you enjoying it though? How how do you like it? But hey, sincerely, welcome in. Welcome in. Um, but I hope you had a good stream. Um, also, for those of you who are new here, which I assume is every one of you. Uh, <laughs> my name is Replicos. I'm a Norwegian streamer. I am currently playing this game. Uh, I played the demo sometime last year. Um, also, thank you so much for the follow. We do have an anonymous follows, by the way. In case you just want to lurk uh, in peace. But yeah, I played the demo sometime last year. Like springtime last year, I think. So I already knew that I was going to play this. Um, but then it got delayed. And then now we're playing it. We're playing it. So I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it and uh, if you uh, also enjoy uh, the this game maybe maybe you will you will want to want to hang out a little bit I don't know I don't I don't I'm just rambling right now <laughs> I'm just rambling right now um it's so silly and funny to play this game it is pretty cute it is pretty cute um no problem always following for support thank you so much I appreciate that that is really kind of you. Um, but yeah, it is It is a really cute game. I am just learning it though. Like the, the flying takes a little bit getting used to. <laughs> uh, it does take some getting used to. But does the charm show up on your backpack maybe? Or does it say it's for the broom? Is that part of the, it was? No, it does. it wasn't mentioned. I just, I just assumed. <laughs> I just assumed. Mm, hope you're having a great time playing too. I am. I am I am having a good time. It's it's uh I'm just honestly I'm a little bit stuck right now because I didn't know how to <laughs> what I was supposed to do next because I didn't get a new ex assignment or a new package to deliver. Uh, so I'm like, yeah, what, what what am I supposed to do now? So I'm just flying around uh, and exploring. You had no idea how to fly up and down. Uh Honestly, I don't know if I... Well, I mean, it told me in the... Um, but I I don't remember either. <laughs> uh, I don't know if, if it was supposed to happen yet. But I don't know. Hey, we, we learn as we go. You know, and we, we will figure it out. It told you, but it just didn't work. Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. Wait, what incompetence? Such an efficiency? Damn. He's so rude. Nevertheless, brat, your lack of professionalism is not the issue here. You are correct. I placed an order and you did not come immediately, so you are inexcusably late. <coughs> Sir, I tried my best. And it's a long trip to get here. Uh-huh. Are you actually complaining? How dare you be so arrogant? Whatever. I don't want you to waste another second of my time. Here, take this electricity bill and deliver it to Andros. You find him in the mansion near the stone arch. A pitiful painter. What a little, what a delinquent. Oh, so this was where we were supposed to go. I see. Oh, he got rid of my sponge. I mean, this was what, what we were supposed to do next. <laughs> Uh, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news, but it is what it is. This bill is for the artist Andros. He'll probably be in his mansion where the stone arch is. Okay, so that's where we were earlier. No, oh, shit, don't, don't drop it. <laughs> Told you we have to bonk the boss for being mean. Mm, yeah, bonk this guy, but but not in not in the good way. Okay, 
let's uh let's deliver the package. You will leave alert because you're going to get something to drink and get ready for good sleep soon. Of course, of course. I I usually tend to s tell people that you know if you need to raid and run and do your own thing and do after stream care and all that stuff, you do that because it's important. And after you streamed, you know it's off. I was supposed to go up there. Oh well. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the raid as well. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> I thought I was gonna gonna, but it takes some damage. Well, I did. God damn it. But have a good stream and time. Thank you for entertaining your raid, friends. Thank you so much for the raid. And any time, any time. I do appreciate it when people can raid anyone and they decide to raid me. Uh, that's very kind. And yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your day and, and night. Okay, I'm gonna gonna deliver this to the old man because he needed some decorations for his um, aquarium, I guess. But he got a little bit knocked. Uh, well, how fair you, M Mikina, Mikina, my dear deckhand, Mr. Ovel, Captain. I have something for you. Take a look. What a nice surprise! It's an amphora. I'm so lucky to have such exquisite pe exquisite pieces to decorate my aquarium. Makina. Wait, what, why is he calling me Makina? My little fishes love them too. I dare say they used the yam forest to play hide and seek. <laughs> really? Aye, I can tell. I spend every afternoon looking at them until my boy Opek comes back from sailing. Then we have dinner together and spend the night with memories of my past days at sea. Um. Ah, he's such a good boy. He listens to me. He hears from me too. I just bore him with my old man stories. The old man stories. <laughs> old man stories. Emphasis Im is important. Oh. <laughs> I'm an anchor that won't let him sail, Makina. Oh. Well, we still got a good um, a good stamp, a green stamp. So I guess it's not it's not too bad. Where will this take us? Oh. I thought it was higher up than that. A whale. Yeah, we cannot get the money wet. Or the, the bill, I guess. <sighs> yeah, we need to... No, 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 not up here. Up here. Wait, was this where we were supposed to go? It was not. <laughs> this is not a mansion. It's a windmill. <laughs> it's a windmill. I have eyes. I can see. Hanging on the fridge with pride. Mm. Yeah, I need to make sure that I, I get to deliver this where it's supposed to go. We just need some... We just need some more uh, updraft to, to take us higher up because we can't we can't fly upwards uh, as much or at all really. Oh, I should have used that one. Close enough. <laughs> hey, we're trying. We're trying.
Ah! Oh, I almost missed it. Is that the mansion? Isn't this where I came from? Yeah, this is not where I was supposed to go. <laughs> this is where I came from. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Wait, so I... It was here? Dude, I am so confused. Is this a mansion? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, if you say so. To me, it looks like a windmill, though. Cheddar bug, how you doing? You're just lurking while playing The Sims. Nice. Well, I appreciate the lurk. I do appreciate it. Sadi, our boss, doesn't seem like the as long as you tried your best kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, no. It's true. It's true. So it's pointing down there. Oh, I see it now. I see I see the so-called mansion. I I just didn't see it before. <laughs> I didn't see it before. There you are. Uh. Oh no, he's hot. No, I'm <laughs> Where have you been, whippersnapper? I was getting worried. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I thought you were one of my own. Hmm, what can I do for you, Mika? If I read your courier ID correctly. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Andros. I'm pleased to meet you. Uh, I have a letter for you from Miss, uh, Mr. Wuss W. Suit. What? A letter from him? Are you serious? Let me guess. It's yet another electricity bill. I'm sorry to say that you are correct, sir. Splendid. Excellent. Delightful. Ah, child. You're like my own offspring. All you bring is trouble. <laughs> Hey, that's why you don't have kids. Here you go, for your excellence in delivering the wonderful news. Very urgent. Hey, but Mr. Andros, it's not my fault. I couldn't care less, child. Now, can we please move on to other matters? I guess you need something from me, right? Brilliant deduction, child. I have here a delivery notice, so... Can you go to the uh, to the de can you go to the delivery office and pick up whatever you my two goblins bought this time? Wait, is he talking about his children? <laughs> is he talking about his children? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, those his children are the two the, the two the two bullies. Are those his children? Okay, I like this dude. He calls them goblins. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's because you were overachieving, reaching for the stars when he was on the ground. I think our boss would like that excuse. Mm. <laughs> 
Rob calls kids crotch goblins, you'd believe it, yeah. That that is also something that I used to call them as well, but like he actually has children though. I feel like it's more common for people to say that when they don't have them, you know? That they don't want crotch goblins, you know? Yeah, can you go to the delivery office and pick up whatever my two goblins bought this time? Yes, I can do that. Magnificent. Thank you. Delivery notification. I can't deprive my goblins of their little luxuries. They'll realize we're broke. Oh, I see. Well, at least we know something about those kids that they don't know themselves. And that is that they're broke. <laughs> There's a, 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 two collectibles up here. Ah. There we go. Mika, it's about time, girl. Remember those two deliveries? They're ready now. Ah, uh, they'll have to wait, boss. Mr. Andros wants me to pick something up. He gave me the delivery notice. As I thought, this notice is for that drone over there. Hmm. Oh yeah, they were talking about drones when we flew over the, the two goblins earlier. <laughs> I'll go there in a bit, but before that, um, I have other places to go. Uh huh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> this package is high priority. Okay, cool. I get the point. Watch your tone. Don't be so cocky. Do I need to remind you that your last deliveries have been mediocre? They have not. He just gave me a bad rating because he didn't want to get his electricity bill. That wasn't my fault. He just didn't like what he was being de getting delivered. That's not true, boss. Huh? Are you seriously calling your boss a liar, girl? Choose your words carefully. See, this this boss is he, our boss is an asshole. Let's call them goblins from now on. Yeah, that's what they are. <laughs> no, I'm not. But but that's not what happened. At least that's not how I remember it happening. Listen, you did such a terrible job, girl, that you ended up with your delivery cart full of yellow stamps. That's not true! Oh, you're breaking my heart. However, I'm willing to give you a second chance. Dude, this guy's gaslighting me. I can see you have what it takes. But you just have to let me be your mentor. And everything will be all right, dude. Why is why is he being so creepy? He's being he's being so creepy right now. Aww. She's a child. Ah, oh, so you need to do what you've been doing, but just with a big smile on your face. Lose a frown, show willing, don't grumble, and uh, the customer is always right. Oh, I think I get it. You see? It's simple. Now go and practice what you've learned. Andros, two, uh, two of a kind... Wait, Andros is two of a kind little imps are waiting for this drone? <laughs> They're usually wreaking havoc on an islet near the lower ruins. Don't fly and make me proud. Smile. Smile. That's... He's being very creepy right now. I don't like it. I, I, I like I disliked him from the beginning, but now he's just being really gross. And the way he's just calling her girl all the time instead, like I don't I don't I don't like what vibe he's given right now. You were just presented with a milkshake. You're so happy. <gasps> Oh, I want a milkshake. That sounds good. What what flavor? <laughs> okay. 
you try again. Ah. Uh. Oh no! Shit, my drone. Okay, I need to get. Uh, I need to go pick it up again. We can't. We can't have it all broken. Our track record is not the best right now. Even though it's all a lie, but. Um, couldn't I just pick it up again? What? I thought that I could pick it up again. What do you mean? It told me that I could. So I have to deliver it like this? God damn it. Okay. Well, I guess they're gonna have a, a broken drone then. Just because I hit that stupid wall. I'm not gonna take any risks now. <laughs> Peanut butter chocolate is the only one you like. To be honest, sometimes vanilla, depending on the mood, but it will be the first food you've been able to have all day. It's the only one you like? To be fair, I love all kinds of milkshake. Hi, Mika. Ah, my favorite delivery person has arrived. You got a package for us, right? Huh? <sighs> yeah, I do. Uh, is it our drone? <laughs> ah, <laughs> maybe it is, maybe not. Who knows? How, how knows? You mean who knows? <laughs> Obviously it is, Sib. It has to be. Because we paid for an extra quick delivery. Mika. Give it to us right now. Okay, okay. Ooh, turn it on. Wait, read the instructions first. <laughs> ah. Why read when you can fly a drone instead? Also, we're getting an ad starting very soon. Drone delivery, very urgent. Okay. So we didn't get a bad, uh, like we, we got a good sticker, even though it got a little bit damaged on the way but that's you know that's 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 okay that's okay you like pistachio i've never heard of that like obviously i know about pistachios and i know about milkshake but i never heard of them combined but that does sound really good you just don't care for the other flavors nearly as much pb plus chocolate one is definitely their best flavor hmm also, you mean from, like, a specific place? Yeah, we don't really have a lot of different flavors here. Uh, anywhere. Because... I guess the most, uh... Specific type of flavor that I've had is probably... <laughs> like, Oreo or something? I don't know. That's how exotic it, it gets here. I suppose. What is that? <gasps> it's a turtle! I mean, I did see one earlier, but... It's a thing and surprisingly good. I believe it. I believe it. It does sound pretty good. Hmm. 
Hmm. How in milkshake now? God damn it. Your stepdad used to love pistachio flavored everything. Pie milkshake jello if they had it in pistachio flavor, if it was his favorite. Pistachio pie? That sounds so and pistachio jelly? I've never even heard of that. Dude, there's so many things that I've never even thought of before. This girl will be so clueless without me? What do you mean? You piece of shit. Uh, opaque. Okay, so we need to go and talk to him then. Out on the water. Out on the water. Hey, fish. That is not the boat. Wait, where is his boat? The boat is not where it's supposed to be. It, uh, it's all the way out there. You want pistachio waffle? What, what is what is all this food? I've never even heard of it. God damn it! I want pistachio flavored everything now. <laughs> uh, pistachio waffles is something that I've never heard of before in my entire life. Ahoy, sailor! Do you need a hand on deck? Oh, ahoy. Still not used to showing up out of the blue, matey. <laughs> um, Bram told me he wanted some pink seaweed for an out-of-this-world ice cream recipe. But I can't help thinking that he's sailing a bit close to the wind. Uh... What? Oh, I always forget you don't speak sailor. I was trying to say. He's doing something risky. He should listen to his uncle. Never, yeah, because, like, pistachio in waffles is not really a common thing to put in waffles. <laughs> I mean, crepes are just pancakes, but, like, that's, like, our standal standard type of pancakes here. The restaurant you used to work at had a bakery section where the pies for super sellers and every year for Thanksgiving they let you take a free pie home so you would always take the pistachio pie and he would be the only one to eat it oh <laughs> that sounds really good though Bram told me that his uncle didn't like his fusion cooking and I'd be in the same boat as him <laughs> hmm seaweed ice cream sounds a bit weird yeah but perhaps it might turn out to be an amazing discovery You never had pistachio pie, now you want to try one, but it's 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah. It's been around a while, I would assume, because you worked at that restaurant over five years ago and they used pistachio jello to make the pistachio pies. Oh, so they had jello in the pie, I see. It was the name brand jello kind in the little boxes. You don't know if you've ever seen it in stores, but you always. You also never looked. Hmm. But I think it's more of a, a U.S. thing. I don't think it's common. Probably not common where any of us live. It's definitely not common here. I don't think it's a thing here at all. But perhaps it might turn out to be an amazing discovery. Mm. Yuck. Not for me, matey. Anyway, could you deliver Bram this pink seaweed? No sooner than said than done. It's been dried, so beware of water, or it will be totally ruined. Yeah, no pressure there when we're surrounded by water everywhere. Okay. Well. Uh. I 
I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. It's gonna get wet. God damn it. Okay. No, we can do it. We can do it. Uh, I think that too, but do you know how many restaurants do so you still have a chance? Hmm. Hello, chef. Uh, chef, by the way. Chef. <laughs> Hello, chef. How's it going? Uh -huh. Hi. Now it's not a good time. I'm in the middle of something really important. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I was just passing by to... Although without the seaweed, I'm stuck, so... Okay, what's up? <laughs> Ram, here is your seaweed. Ah. ah, how do you always manage to bring me wa just what I need? <laughs> well, a witch never ever reveals her secrets. Now, I can make the ah. pink seaweed ice cream. <laughs> Ew. Hmm. <laughs> it's delicious, I promise. Well, that's how I remember it. Mouth-watering. Uh -huh. Though my uncle Taka didn't approve of it. Oh, wait. I need your friend errand. I'm making an ice cream uh, for Opec to say thanks. Everyone knows a mariner's op opinion can be as fierce as the open sea, but... His heart is in the right place. Just let me add the seaweed topping. <laughs> All right, ready to ship. <laughs> oh, it actually does seem yummy. Huh, I know in my heart that Mara ice cream is a good idea. Uh... Mara? Ah, yes. It's the name of the beautiful place where I come from that inspired this recipe. Um... Well, will you take a pick this uh, Mara ice cream? <laughs> yes, chef. But, hurry up, please, before it melts. Oh, shit. I don't... 45 seconds? And he can't get wet either? Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? I don't like things being timed. Don't rush me, uh, game. I don't like being rushed. Ugh, I can't get wet and I'm gonna die. Ah, <laughs> huh. oh, that was close to the water. Ahoy, sailor. I have a gourmet Mara ice cream for you. Hey. Huh? Is this the one made from the pink seaweed? <laughs> Yes, it is. Ram was really keen to get your opinion on this. It seemed pretty important to him. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Although, to be fair, it doesn't look so bad. It smells nice, too. Wait, ice cream has a scent? All right, I'll give it a try. Well, I mean, I guess it does, but... <laughs> huh. Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> so, what do you think? Does it taste good? Hey. Well, I have to say, matey... It has a creamy texture. It's really sweet, actually. With s but with salty notes. Mm -hmm. Sink me. I never have thought that seaweed ice cream could be so tasty. <laughs> so, Bram was right after all. Mm -hmm. I, and I was wrong. Maybe, uh, I was wrong about everything, Mika. Aww. Oh, is everything okay? Mm. Hmm, I was thinking about my old man. I had to sail really far from where he get, uh, to get... I had to sail really far from here to get the seaweed. Then suddenly I started to feel really bad. Like, I don't know. As if I was leaving Ovel behind. However, at the same time, I really enjoyed being there, far away on the open seas. Ah, if I could only just listen to my heart in the same way Bram does... I would be happy. Well, your grandpa will understand. He used to be a sailor too. 
Yeah, maybe. I should talk to him. Eee, go talk to him. Hmm, this feeling of joy on the open sea is what my old man describes in his stories. Hold on. Let me catch up. Your stores was also the only place near you that had pistachio pies. You had people that would pick up orders from 30 minutes away just because they couldn't find them anywhere else. You don't think it's even that common there? Hmm. The bakery ladies were next to you, so you saw them make them. They used pre-made pie crusts, made the pistachio jello, and added milk, you think? All you had to do is follow the chocolate jello recipe for pies. That's on the back of the chocolate jello, but swap it out for the pistachio. Hmm. They add two things and use a pre-made crust. There's no doubt that you can make it. Hmm. I didn't die. I did not die. If you didn't find a pistachio pie, you you're making your yourself one yourself. Do it. Do it. At least I can get into the water here. Uh when I'm not carrying anything. It's on the other side. I might as well just go this way. Might as well. What is this delivery thing? Is that a radio or a TV? Ah, uh, is that a TV? What? <laughs> oh, I see. The plane crashed and the cargo. Good thing it landed on a small, a small island. A lost TV. But why does everything that can't get wet? Why does it land here? Good thing the TV didn't end up on the ocean. It's not the latest model, but that doesn't mean it's cheap. I'm just gonna leave it here because I don't know who who owns it, and I don't wanna. I don't wanna destroy it until I know. Well, I don't wanna destroy it when I know either. But <laughs> you know, you know. I just bonked her head on the statue, yeah. It happens. It happens! It happens. Hmm. Okay, so... I actually kind of want to... Uh, get up here. Wait, what even is this? There's also a collectible here. New broom trail. What? What does it mean? A new trail for my bloom? No. <laughs> Broom. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm gonna pick up that. Shh. I have to go back. I'm gonna pick up that kite after I've broken the the jar. Because I ended up dropping stuff. 
if I carried something while doing the, the butt slam. I'm not high enough up. That's annoying. It was still painful to drink, but it feels so nice to have something besides a bit of water and medicine in your stomach. Hmm. Probably helps that it's a little bit cold as well, right? Up, up, up we go. Well, not that high up, I guess. Ah, for fuck's sake! God damn it! Do I have to, like, just get off the, the broom and then on again? It seemed to work. It seemed to work. The cold felt nice. Mm. That is good. That is good. Oh, the, 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 the thing. No, fuck off. Gravity. I don't have time for gravity right now. <laughs> I don't. I don't have time for you. At the moment. Wait, hold on. No, oh, never mind. I was trying to see something. We're gonna try to do the butt slam here. There we go. <gasps> the magician! Tarot card. Number three. What if there were broom police that pulled you over for reckless brooming? Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Because they can't- what they can't see, they don't know. I'm just minding my own business. No one gets hurt, you know? Not a lot of air traffic here, either. <laughs> I'm just curious about what's in the, the gazebo-looking place over there. I was half expecting there to be a collectible at the top here. Oh, it's just one of these. I see. Well, I'm gonna bring this over here, I think. that Wee! so it's it's kind of like a shortcut God damn it hmm Okay. 
Brimming under the influence, but I haven't been drinking. What are you accusing me of? I'm sober. Mm, okay, let's get up here. Up, up, up we go. Whoa! I, I wonder what these are supposed to be for. Like these openings here, these... Maybe they're secret portals. As broomiful, it is broomiful. Okay, we're gonna do the butt slam over here as well. Nice. The chariots. That is our broom. Accusing me of a B B B U I. Hmm. Typical black cats. Not <laughs> typical. Typical. They are ostriches. Just look at that. Look at the big one in here. They're all babies. These are just these are just baby ostriches. <laughs> There's so many of them. Uh, so cute. Look at these silly, silly little guys. Huh? That's so silly. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. But there's something up there, though. Yeah, let's continue to the delivery we need to make. Oh, I'm pretty close. So it is here. Is it the woman in there? It is. Hello. Uh-oh. The train hasn't arrived. Has something happened? Are you okay, ma'am? Can I help you? Oh, sweetie. Are you from the delivery company? Yes, at your service, Miss Cecile. I'm a farmer on the side of the Island of Winds. I need you to deliver this letter to my son. Um, my Jean-Paul should be at the Arillo Town's train station. Easy peasy, Miss. Don't worry. Letter from a mother. Okay. Okay, so it's just right back uh, where we started. I guess. Okay, this is risky though. I need to not crash into anything. Uh! Okay. The cutie pies, you swear it's scientific term. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm just gonna take it this way. Why do games always have some French in it? I don't know. I don't know. I think... Well, I think it's more of a... a uh... Cre Creole... Wait, how do you say it? You know? Like, um... A Car Caribbean... Uh, vibe is what I got from it here. Oh yeah, he's here. <laughs> hey. 
Wee! Those birds' colors are totally mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you Jean Paul? I have a letter for you. Huh? Darn, it must be for my mom. She must be flipping. So late. Aww. Yeah, she did seem a bit what worried. Color is my underwear? Jean! My immediate thought was red. <laughs> How you doing, Jean? But yeah, she did seem a bit worried. Hmm. My dear Jean Paul, I hope you come home soon. Don't let every little feather along the way distract you. Huh? What a lovely way to describe how a happy bird watching makes me. 12 out of 10 on the empathy scale, Mom. I'm writing you this letter because it's it makes what I have to say easier to express. You're so young. You want to follow your dreams, but right now I need you at home. I can't cope with the farm on my own anymore. Um. It breaks my heart, son. I want you to go to college and not end up like me. My life could be so much better, but I'm just a simple farmer. Hey, Mom, don't put yourself down. Not again. Hope you can forgive me. I feel like I'm holding you back, but this will only be temporary. In the meantime, you can have a good time here at the farm with me and our birds. Oh, mom. It's funny how, like, why do you feel the need to read this letter in front of the delivery person? Also, isn't it a package? <laughs> it's like blue-gray. Oh, I always guess the opposite. It's like when you have, when you have red, I guess blue. And if you have blue, I guess red. And then it's just never, never what I guess anymore. I'm not good at guessing anymore. Letter from a mother. Are you okay? Uh, my my mom is almost blaming herself for not providing me with what she thinks is a decent life. But going to college and ending up at, uh, as a desk jockey in the big city. That is not my idea of a decent life. My dream is to be a bird breeder. Has been inspired by how good her life is on the farm. Wait, my dream to be a bird breeder has been inspired by how good her life is on the farm. <laughs> I can relate. Parents always want the best for their children. If only they would learn how to listen. <laughs> you can say that again. Anyway, hold on a minute. I have to write back. So I'm just gonna be a... Uh, well, a carrier pigeon? Okay, here, here you go. Can you del deliver this letter to my mom? On oh, my way. Okay. Well, I guess so. Wait, can I just pass through here? <laughs> it would have been nice if I could just walk through the tunnel. <laughs> that would have been nice. That would have been nice. Ow. Pfft. No! It's a letter. How can it be... God damn it. Rude. I disagree with that, but okay. What? Excuse me? Okay, so I needed to hold B to get a new one. I see. This game looks cute. It is cute. It is pretty cute. I'm enjoying it. We're, we're a delivery witch. Delivering packages on a broom. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, let us get up here. I'm not gonna take the whole way around, I don't think. Hmm. Ah. 
Wait, who are you? Hey, that was a good call. Now we can... It's pretty easy to go back here. Did you find my Jean-Paul? Is he okay? Yes, he is. He is okay. Uh, aha, Miss Cecile. He's finding... He gave me this letter to give it to you. Mom. I'm on my way home, but there's a problem with the train, I guess. Don't worry. It's just a delay. Oh, thank the stars, son. I'm excited to be coming home and looking after the farm. I can't wait to see the baby ostriches. Together, we will make them grow up happy and strong. Love, JP. Are you alright, miss? You look upset. Ah, I'm sorry. I got lost in my own thoughts, sweetie. It's just, you can't say, don't worry. And expect the worry to just go away, right? A mother will always be a mother. <laughs> yeah, I know. My mom loves me so much, too. <gasps> Letter from a son. <laughs> Whoa, I've completed the delivery card. I'll go and see Graf. To collect my pay. We finished the day. Guessing Jean's under... under color is an ancient tradition that you have to continue with it <laughs> would be an ap apocalyptic consequence. Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's true. It is, it is true. Sponges. I like how they're just casually like some, some sponges in, in the water. <laughs> This is funny. Uh... Oi! 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 I I just took it with me. I don't actually need it, but. There we go. <clears throat> oh, here you are again, girl. Let's review your performance. Oh, I hate this dude. Well, well, you did a better job this time, but you still need to improve, don't you? Huh. I knew all you needed was a talking to. I knew it. You workers always need one. Uh, you always, your workers always need one so that you know your place. Shut up, you piece of shit. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, yes. Yes, here's your payment, girl. I don't like it that he keeps calling me that. And that's all for today. Come by tomorrow and I'll give you another delivery card. Mm. Yes, boss. See you. Tomorrow, yes. Mm. Oh, look how sweet you are now. How easy things are when you listen to your mentor. Shut up! I want to punch this dude. You could have a great future here in my company. But only if you work for it. Why would I want that? What an asshole. Yeah, Gref is a piece of shit. He is a piece of shit. <laughs> you love that it's something we did at random and continue to do, so... <laughs> Me too. Me too. Hey. Hi, Allegra. Um, tell me, please. Is my new super duper broom ready to fly? <laughs> oh, hi there, little one. Well, the truth is, I have a little problem. See, I wanted to give you a very special broom, but I wasn't expecting you so soon. Oh. So it's not ready yet? No, but I'll finish it really soon, I promise. Hmm. You okay, little one? Oh. No, but it's... fine. It's just I was hoping to be done with this graph by now, and... <gasps> what is happening? Oh no. Is that the power plant? Wow, he destroyed one of the packages. Hmm. What 
what just happened? Is that smoke? Oh, speaking of the devil. Girl. Phew, thank the stars I found you. We have the, an extremely critical delivery. Hey, what's with the frown, girl? Aren't you happy to see your mentor? No, why would I be? Anyway. One of the smoke factory's engine plugs is kaput. You need to go there right now and deliver Mr. Suit. Uh, deliver Miss, Mr. W. Suit. The spare en engine plug. Jesus Christ, I can't read anymore. Um, <laughs> hmm, is that a spare part? Looks like it's broken. Hmm. It's not broken, girl. It's just... It's fragile. That's what it is. Surely Mr. W. Suit can wait till tomorrow. Just like the rest of us. Huh? You can't neglect your duties. Not now. Although, on second thoughts, the people depend on the factory to keep the lights on and the smoke. It can't be good for the island. That's right. That's right. Think about your neighbors. Yes. Opec, Ovel, Andros... Don't you think they deserve to be okay? Hey. Okay, okay, I'll go. Ah, how sweet, girl. Stop it! He's so gross. I won't forget such a favor. <clears throat> I mean, do the job I pay you for. What now? See what I mean? He's just using me. Hey. Actually, boss. This is after hours, so I expect to be paid fairly. Hmm. What a piece of shit. What a piece of shit. Imagine that he it's it's child labor, that's what it is. And he's taking advantage of it. Oh, it's gonna be so dark. And it's so quiet. What happened to the music? Oh, there we go. Ah. Uh, I'm not gonna take any risks. I'm gonna... Use this one. Yeah, we don't like him. We do not like him. He's a terrible person. Uh, is this very risky? Okay. Let us use this. Whee! Oh no. I am not gonna take any risks here. <laughs> if I get knocked into one of these walls, um, this plug is gonna be destroyed. Because it's already destroyed, so if it takes one hit, it will be fully destroyed. <laughs> so we cannot take that risk. Hmm. Yeah, I need to get up there. Is that a baby ostrich? Wait, do ostriches actually fly? <gasps> baby ostrich on the run? It's an actual baby ostrich! Oh no! We need to bring you home, little buddy. Okay, I'm gonna do that first because it's nearby. I think it's right here. Uh, 
I feel like I need to talk to her, though. I can't just drop it off. Yeah. Oh, miss. Um, I found a, a baby ostrich near the farm. <gasps> oh, sweetie, thank the stars. My Jean-Paul and I were so worried about them. Ah, <laughs> uh, them? See, sweetie, three baby ostriches were blown off the farm by a whirlwind. Thank you for bringing one of them back to mama. <gasps> no problem, ma'am. Poor ostrich baby. If you get hurt on the job after hours, after being coerced into doing it while being exploited by a child labor, you could sue the fuck out of that man for billions of dollars as like three separate severe charges. Exactly. We can't let him get away with, with all of this shit. Mm. So I need to get up there, but I, I'm so scared of like knocking into something. Because it's like one hit and then it will be broken, like actually broken. I think it's fine as long as I'm not using the broom though. It doesn't seem to take any damage as long as I'm just walking around, but... There we go. Brat, what time do you call this? We've had a terrible situation here. What are you talking about, Mr. W. Suit? Flew like lightning to get here. I doubt that, brat, but fortunately, a self-made businessman such as myself always has an ace up his sleeve. Ah, obviously, it was my ingenuity that got the factory up and running again. How, you might ask? Well, I just knew exactly who to delegate to get it fixed. Out of all my workers. Huh. If having such a vision is not true talent, I don't know what it is. What, is. what a remarkable day it's been, brat. And while we're on the subject, nothing personal, but I have to fix your incompetence. What? Shh. Why are you workers so impertinent when your pro productivity is under professional scrutiny? Whatever. I'm afraid I have no choice but to rate your delivery with a red stamp. What a piece of shit. Hey, that's not fair. Maybe. However, what really matters here is that you'll learn a valuable lesson. If you're smart enough, of course. And if everything goes according to my master plan, you'll be fixed. Thanks to me. Me. I am a genius. <laughs> what a piece of shit. The two of them are working together, aren't they? Assholes. You're lurking, but you have to say that the music is nice. I'm glad. I'm glad. It is pretty cute. You're back, but you're not. You need to cook, but you're nearby, but you're not. <laughs> I, I appreciate the, 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 the semi-lurk. I appreciate it, crew. Me talking plus cute, cute music. 11 out of 10. Oh, you're too kind. You're too kind. Oh, good to see you, Mr. W. Suit. I suppose Mika got here uh, there on time then, since the factory is back up and running. You are gravely mistaken, Gref. Quite the opposite, in fact. This brat of a, cour a courier. I don't know why I keep saying courier. Uh, courier. Almost caused a total failure. What? Is that true, Mika? No, it's not, boss. Whatever. In any case, Gref, the details don't matter. Rational men work with facts. And the fact is, when she arrived, the problem was already solved. Therefore, she was useless. I see. Being the beacon of wisdom that I am, I wanted to teach her what happens if you do your job inefficiently. Obviously, in this case, the result is a red stamp. Oh, Mr. W. Suit. I'm really, really sorry. Don't worry about it, Gref. Teaching workers their place is my personal calling. I won't charge you for it. This time. 
Yuck. Can't believe what I'm hearing. Huh? And Mika. Girl, you've broken my heart. You have so much potential. Such a marvelous gift. Ah, waste of talents. Yes, yes. A real tragedy, if you ask me, Gref. You should fire her. Honestly, I would love it if he fired me. <laughs> Excuse me? Ah, look how arrogant she is. It's obvious she's a bad apple. Okay, I've had enough of this. Mr. W. Suit, hear me out. No, Mika. No. Don't waste your breath. Just pack your things and leave. I'm not mad or angry. Just disappointed, girl. But Gref, let me explain. Are you deaf? Get out of here. Now. I mean, you should be happy. Yeah, the, the, they're both <laughs> awful people. Awful people. Um... Oi! Oi! It's you, little skipper. Could you lend a train driver a hand? Aww. Oh, hello. Look, girl, I'm stuck here in the middle of nowhere because the darn firebox almost blew up. Is... L Loki? Is Loki? This Loki is not designed for that type of fuel, but I was told I had to make it work, you know? And yeah, I made it, just barely. But it burned through the coal pretty fast. Ah, if only I had some more coal. I could finish my gr work, girl. That's why I called you over. Why do they keep calling me girl? It's really annoying. <laughs> I was supposed to give Allegra this ceramic pot a few hours ago, but... Oh. Holy moly, are you okay? Oh, um, I no longer work for Gref. I mean, the delivery company, so... I'm sorry. I can't do anything for you. Um... Well, wait. The way I see it, you still move around, whereas I can't. And, uh, you know known around the island is a very nice girl who cares about everyone's needs. Aww. They say that about me? Yeah, so I figured that maybe you could do a tiny errand for me? The unfortunate Alex, just those ones. So what do you say? Will you deliver the ceramic pot to Allegra, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll help you, Miss Alex. Perfect. I knew I could trust you, Skipper. And no miss for me. It's just Alex, if you please. Hmm. And you keep calling me girl? This town, whole town is full of doorknobs, it's true. <laughs> hey, Mift, thank you for the lurk. Yeah, I don't- I don't like this- this town. I don't like the people in this town. Well, Allegra is nice though. And the- and the- um, the fisherman. Fisherman. Actually, I kinda like the- the- <laughs> I like the- we like the zaddy too. <laughs> But he, he actually has the, the one with the two goblins. <laughs> maybe he's a goblin too. So maybe it's not weird that he calls them goblins. Maybe they're all goblins. <laughs> Little one, you made it to the smoke factory in time, didn't you? The power's back on. Oh, why the long face? I got there really fast, but it was too late. Long story short. Gref fired me. Huh? No way! That man. Oh. Hmm, what a shame. In situations such as this, chocolate usually comes in handy. Oh. Chocolate? Um, I have some, but it's for Olagari. She asked me for some really strange things. But I think she'll be angry if I give them away. Hmm. Angry? Hmm, I don't think so. She may seem scary, but... Uh -huh. I've heard that she's very wise and understanding. Even kind-hearted in a way. If you give them to people who can make better use of them, it'll be fine. Oh, so we, we have choices that matter in this case, too. Yeah, I'm gonna share it with Allegra. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, here, take some chocolate. 
Oh, I get it. You want some too. Eee. So, how are you holding up? Are you okay? Well, I just don't know what to do now. I'm back to square one. It's strange because I think I was starting to enjoy the delivery job, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I came here to learn how to become a witch, not to become an errand girl, but... After flying around a bit, the whole thing started to seem like a really cool thing to do. <laughs> then, once I got to know the villagers, I started to really care about their needs. <laughs> hmm. I think Gref knew what you were starting to build... I think Gref knew that you were starting to build relationships with the Arilla Town folks. And he was trying to exploit that. You don't say. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Oh, I almost forgot. Alex sent me to bring you this. Uh -huh. Ah, my ceramic pot for the art show. Uh -huh. It's in perfect condition. Thank you for taking such care. It's really delicate. <laughs> it was a difficult journey, but it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, very difficult. <laughs> uh, we got the ceramic pot. <laughs> such a relief that this piece still looks so good after all that. This is one of the main pieces for the show. Of the show. By the way, you are invited. The whole island is coming. Aww. Uh, actually, I'm not in the party mood. <laughs> oh, come on, little one. That's just the tiredness talking. I think... Hmm. You just need to get some sleep and rest. <laughs> ah, yeah. I'm so into that. <laughs> yeah, we do need to get some sleep. Day three. Uh -huh. Oh, I have great news, little one. I finished making your new broom. <gasps> Here you are, your powerful light broom. Ooh, a new broom. Uh -huh. Light, you said? That means weak. Huh? Hey, don't be so judgy. It's a very sturdy broom. I'm very proud of it. Uh -huh. I wanted it to be special, so I put a blue orb on it. Stone from the heart of the mountain. Mm. And since it's found in every magical relic on the island, your broom will now react to them. Mm. Are you serious? Aha. Uh -huh. And if it works, it will activate the flying rings and open certain gates in the ruins. <gasps> oh, so that's what the... the rings are. So it will help you get to more places on the island. It's not so bad, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, and it also makes the broom fly better. Now you can do boosts to gain speed. Then, um, it could be dangerous. Ah, <laughs> uh, you just have to get used to it, like everything else. Okay, okay. I'll practice some flight carefully. Uh, do you need anything to set up the art show? At this stage, not really. But surely some other island folks need a hand, or two. Oh, that reminds me. Alex said the train was stuck. Um... Do you know if there is a mine here a Mont m at Mont Gon? Like a coal mine? <laughs> ah, yes, just past the Greenwater Lake. Uh, where Vanny has moved her camp to now. <laughs> Noted. Uh, I have a feeling she's having trouble getting there from the lower ruins. Uh -huh. And you should check on her. Yeah, yeah. And I'll also drop in on Opec, knowing him. He forgot something before he set out sailing this morning. Hmm, okay. I know what to do. We have a delivery card. I'll check on every everyone. I still need a new broom, but without cash or a job. Tch, something will come along. Eventually. And in the meantime, I should carry on practicing my flying. See you later, Allegra. <laughs> Take care. Fly safe. Got a new broom. The light broom allows Mika to perform the flight of the ancestors. You'll fly faster and also get a boost in the air by pressing RT. Uh, the ancient magic of the embedded Montgon stone will open gates at the ruins and activate the floating rings. This broom also allows you to carry the three packages at the same time. Three packages. Nice. Nice. A walnut is more empathetic and intelligent than the people in charge of the town. <laughs> they just seem to be good eggs. Mm. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I do think, though, that 
it's time to wrap up now. I know it hasn't been like a super long stream or anything, but I mean, I tried to keep it at like four to five hours though. So it's not like super short either, but. Mm. How do I save? Does it just auto save? I guess so. I guess so. But yeah, it's a cute game. It's a cute game. I am enjoying it. And it doesn't seem like it's gonna be like a super long game either. Maybe two streams or three, two or three streams. Because it does seem like we're pretty close to at least halfway, you know? But I am enjoying it. I hope you guys have been enjoying it as well. I'm not sure when I will be playing it next, though. If we're gonna... What we're gonna do... I think we're just gonna be playing uh, Elden Ring on Friday and Saturday. Well, Saturday we're gonna be playing it anyway, because we're gonna do the cosplay. Uh, let me put on some music. We're gonna be doing the cosplay on Saturday. So we're definitely gonna be playing Elden Ring then, but I don't know if we're gonna do that on Friday as well. We'll see. We'll see. But it's been fun though. I have been enjoying it. And I've been looking forward to this game because I have, uh, I've been waiting for it. I did play the demo when, I think it was April last year or something. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when we're gonna continue. I also need to, I've also been wondering if um, I should be playing, um, and stars in time more on stream or if I should just continue on my own because it doesn't seem like I know Orion likes it but I don't know if anyone else does it doesn't really seem like most people are enjoying it that much and it's a lot of reading too um so I don't I don't know I'm not sure <gasps> hey so dot how you doing you missed the, the stream you missed uh, the, the game you think you're late? Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're a little late. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for being here, guys. Do you still play BG3 on your own? Uh, well, it has been a few weeks since last time I did. Um, mainly because I'm in Act 3 and just getting into the game while I'm in Act 3 is just a little bit overwhelming. So I've been... It's been difficult for me to... And I also don't like starting a new... A new character. Last time I opened the game was on July 25th, so it's been almost a whole month since since last time I opened the game. Which... Makes me feel a little bit bad, because I want to... I want to get back to it, but I also like... I've also... Now I can't really watch other people play the game on stream or anything either because I just need to I just need to have a break from the game um unless it's like maybe it's if, if it's a first playthrough it's a little bit different because then everything will be new for that person but yeah, I also don't want to I don't want to end up uh, over consuming um uh, bg3 content if that makes sense um yeah are those ribbons on your jacket they look they are they are ribbons and also my my my, my hood wait yeah on the side here i also have uh, matching pants which also have like ribbons on the back of the the calf you enjoy anything oh that's good to hear. 
But yeah, we'll probably be finishing, be finishing this game on stream because it's it seems pretty short. Um, and then we're going to be playing uh, Elden Ring this weekend. And we're getting fairly close to getting to the point where we can s start the DLC. I don't know if I'm going to beat the game before starting the DLC or not. But we're at least over halfway in the game. But yeah, we're going to be doing the Ronnie cosplay on Saturday. We'll see what happens on Friday. I'm keeping that day a little bit open as to what I'm going to be playing. So, just came back to see how far you got. I got to day three. So we started day three after getting fired. I actually don't know if I spoiled anything for you now. I don't. I, I hope I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry if I did. I didn't mean to. Um, but it's really cute. The game is really cute. But yeah, we'll see what we're gonna do on Friday. Hey. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Keeping the day open for now. Seeing what I feel like uh, when the day comes. If we're going to be continuing playing this or more Elden Ring, uh, we'll see. You only play the first two days and stop just before the factory? Mm, okay, okay, okay. I see. Yeah, I I got to the factory. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that I... I I said some things that I shouldn't have said then. I apologize. If you're the one streaming it, otherwise you're very picky with what you watch. Oh, thank you, Black Cats. That's very sweet of you to say. Yeah, I just got a little bit farther than you. Just, just a teeny tiny bit. But yeah, we'll see if we're gonna... I, I think maybe I want to play this on Friday, but we'll see. I will let you guys know in the Discord. Um, if not, you will see when I go live. I go live on the same time as I did today. So you can see um, b -b -b schedule here. And if you're also interested in the game, check out the link here. They wanted me to share a link of like with my name attached to it in case, you know, to see how many interacted with it and in case people bought it through my link, my specific link. Not that it does anything for me, but it gives me better opportunities later on, I guess, is what they said. If um, people buy the game through the link that I posted, I don't know. So, just just in case people are interested, you know. <laughs> what a great command. <laughs> yeah, you should be honored. No, it's a command just for you. <laughs> but yeah, let's see if we can... Wait, what is this music? What? This is not my music. This is weird. Yeah, I guess I guess it did something weird there. <laughs> is this Spotify? Yeah, but I don't have um, the 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 shuffle thing the smart shuffle thing on it does that to you all the time i think the the issue was that i hadn't looped the whole playlist but i it should be on looped by default so but yeah let us see if we can find someone to raid though mm. let us see but yeah, it's been it's been a fun stream though i have enjoyed it have enjoyed the game. Let's see. Why can't I see everyone who is alive right now on my the thing? Well, we could see if anyone's playing the game. Anyone new? could do that. 
Hmm. I tend to not raid a lot of new people because I, I'm just kind of worried that I'm gonna raid into someone who, uh, well. Some more questionable people. <laughs> but with this type of game, I feel like it's a little bit safer because it's, it's a very wholesome and cozy game. So I feel like the, the chances of raiding into someone not that great uh, is smaller. Um, you sad that you were late, but you're happy that at least you could hang for a few minutes with all you with all you all. Well, I'm glad that you got here at least for a little bit. So not, but we get, we're probably gonna continue on Friday. We'll see. There's a lot involved. Mm. It is true. It is true. Uh, you know we can check out this this person that was at the top. Um, and it says that she's a cat mom. So yeah, let's 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 raid this person. It says her name is Mordon Cassie. Yeah, let's 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 do a, let's do a sneaky little raid to someone new. I hope you guys want to join in for the raid. Um Let's see. Yeah. Well, she's been live for the same amount of time as I have. Four hours. Or a little less than me, but... Hasn't gotten as far in the game. Um, but yeah, let's start the raid. I hope you guys want to join in. I hope you, you want to join in. Um, get to know some new people. And it's, just, you know, it's, 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 it's a nice thing to do. You know, joining in uh, for a raid. Um... You know, you know. And yeah, the first message is for anyone who is subbed. Uh, and the second one is for people who are not subbed. Um, so I hope you guys want to wanna copy whichever one applies to you and, and join in. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys on, on Friday. Friday. And here is the, the Discord if you want to join the Discord. Um, and also I post all my VODs on YouTube. Um... So if you want to check out that, you can check out that as well. And, uh, yeah. And again, my schedule here, if you're wondering. Tuesdays are usually a little bit up in the air, but Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday are always usually as scheduled. But yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.